Chapter 1 Mission, Kidnapping Yamato, Dash, The Country of Wano, Ghost Island, The Stone Cave in the Sky. In this pitch black cave, there was only a beam of light coming from the top. Inside there were three powerful male warriors kneeling on the ground. In front of the three warriors, there was a black-haired young man chained up. The young man's body was covered with chains made of special seafloor stones. Moreover, the hands, feet, and even the chest were all nailed with huge iron nails, nailing them to the stone wall. But no blood flowed down and the places where these giant nails were nailed seemed to have healed long ago. So, why don't you go out? The young man who was nailed to the wall raised his head. His hair was very long, and his dark pupils looked at the three warriors through his hair. The someone in the man's mouth is the name given to these three warriors. They consider themselves losers. The country of Wano has been overthrown by Kaido, and as samurai of the country of Wano, they do not deserve to have names. So just let the man be addressed as someone. It's just that we, the defeated servants, can't fight Kaido at all. If you go out. What's the use? The blue haired warrior sitting on his knees, holding a wooden stick similar to a toothpick in his mouth, smiled bitterly. With. He also touched the white bandage on his head, which was the scar left by the previous battle with Kaido. Although the three warriors could directly smash the stone door out, they knew they were outmatched, so they planned to continue waiting here for the opportunity. But are you really okay? You have been nailed to the wall since before I came in. It's really surprising. A short, Fat man with long hair and a white face with painted purple pattern samurai. He looked at the huge nails on the young man's chest and couldn't imagine that this was something a human being could do. Yes, I wonder how long you have been here? The person who asked this question was a dark-skinned warrior with a long face and a right-angled moustache. Me? It must have been a few years. After all, that guy Kaido can't kill me. The young man he grinned slightly. Dot. Ha 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 ha. After a slight pause, all the warriors laughed. The bold laughter spread throughout the cave. Kaido Dot can't kill you? You don't look like you are in your twenties, right? But it would be too false to say that Kaido can't kill you. The blue-haired samurai was full of disbelief. After all, Kaido it was so powerful that even the three great swordsmen couldn't defeat it, and were almost killed by it. But the man in front of him, how could it be possible? It's just that Kaido wants to take you as his subordinate, the white-faced warrior said with a smile. Because the reason the three of them are still alive now is because Kaido wants them to surrender. Believe it or not, the young man said. He just closed his eyes and continued to sleep. And he, in fact, he is a time traveler. The name is Kong Zan. I traveled to Wano country a few years ago. Before crossing over, he still remembered that he finally got out once and crossed the road in a daze. Then a large truck sped over and then it split open like a tomato. Red juice flowed all over the floor. Just came here. It seems that at that time, I heard the truck driver say something like, Boy, it's time to go to another world. Dot. As a time traveler, he naturally has a system. His first task is to find Kaido. After successfully completing his first mission, he gained the full power of the no side effects. Ghost King Musin. So he doesn't need to eat people, nor is he afraid of the sun. His second mission was to fight Kaido and gain the full power of Enishitsukuni, who had no side effects. The third task is confusing, which is to take Yamato out to sea. As for the reward dot it's unclear. Good guy, is this such a mission? Because his own strength was insufficient, he couldn't even break Kaido's defense, so he was defeated by Kaido, but at least he gained the power of Enishitsukuni with no side effects, which is not a loss. And it is true that Kaido can't kill him, and it's the same if he buckles the stellate stone on himself. After all, it's not a devil fruit ability. I have been waiting here for at least two and a half years. After waiting for two years, I haven't received a single chicken feather and the ground is still so dark. Arrived shortly before, the three warriors finally came in. In this case, it shouldn't take long for Yamato. View the panel. Kong Zan looked at his data panel out of boredom. Name, Kong Zan gender, male age, 18 possessing character abilities no side effects. Ghost King Yumai, Jigo Yuania it's a simple panel. He glanced at it and closed it again. In these years, I would either sleep, watch the panel, or sing a masterpiece called Jin is too beautiful. But I am really bored here, uck. Kong Zan roared in his heart. Ding. It has been detected that the host is too bored. Do you want to join the chat group comprehensive comic series created by the subsystem? The system's words made Kong Zan wake up. I am not confused anymore. As a senior neat, he just reads novels, comics and animations at home every day. And he is also aware of this chat group. Very good. After all, he has read this kind of novels a lot. Kong Zan said one word directly. Add. I didn't expect this system to understand me so well. I'm so happy. Kong Zan thought silently in his heart. But the surrounding warriors looked at Kong Zan in confusion. Are you homesick, your excellency? The blue-haired warrior looked at Kong Zan, and suddenly a family was called out to the three of them. Ah, uh, ha ha, I guess. Kong Zan smiled awkwardly. This was so careless. He was so excited. He shouted directly. Ha ha ha, your excellency, you are not from Wano country, are you? The dark warrior spoke with a bold smile on his face. Yes. My hometown is far away from here. Kong Zan sighed. He looked at the only beam of light on the top of the cave. The light shone on the ground, and Kong Zan hoped it would illuminate every dark place, 
because this place is really dark. Well, it's not easy for you to go to sea alone. The white-faced warrior sighed. Kong Zan closed his eyes again, ignored them, and pretended to be sleeping. The three warriors saw this and did not disturb them. In fact, he had already opened the group chat. To Shan Hong Hong, welcome. Butterfly Ninja, there is a newcomer. Welcome. Hayuga Hinata, Huan. Welcome. Kan Ki Ken, there is a newcomer. Welcome Dash, Butterfly Ninja. Newcomer no are you talking? Kong Zan counted. There are only five people in this group including him. Forget it. Just five people. It's better than chatting with the three guys next to you. Kan Ki Ken, I understand, newbie. Are you panicking? Kan Ki Ken, don't worry, we are all from different worlds. I know you may not believe it, but it is true. To shine Hong Hong, not bad. Butterfly Ninja, Hong Hong is still the same as before cold. At this moment, To Shan. To shine Hong Hong is a good little girl now. She still doesn't trust humans very much but after hearing that the group chat is full of humans, she became cold. She was a little at a loss. So I simply replied, Kong Zan, I understand the situation clearly. I am Kong Zan, and I am still in jail. Kan Ki Ken, alas, alas, do newcomers adapt so quickly? What the hell is jail time? Are you a prisoner? Kong Zan curled his lips, and then continued typing with his mind. Kong Zan, no, just because someone couldn't kill me, he imprisoned me. Butterfly Ninja, if he couldn't be beaten to death. Then you are a human being is it? Butterfly Ninja is a little confused. After all, if you can't kill it, isn't it a ghost with strong resilience? And only the niche iron sword and sunlight can kill it. Kong Zan, I think I am. He also knows what Butterfly Ninja thinks. He has seen the blade of the first pillar. He doesn't eat humans, and he eats normal food. Although he has the power of Demon King Musin, his consciousness is undoubtedly that of a human being. Butterfly Ninja, few dot that's okay now. I don't want my group friends to be my enemies. Butterfly House. At this moment, the butterfly ninja is sitting on the wooden floor. She patted her chest and felt relieved. After all, it would be difficult if the group friends were ghosts. Then two more looking not far away, Kani was teaching Kani about the breath of flowers, while she was chatting in the group. Dash. Chapter 2 Yamato is coming. Kanki Ken, can't be beaten to death? Is it because of the super recovery ability? Kanki Ken asked curiously. Kong Zan, because I am immortal. Kong Zan said that he would find some excuse to fool him. But this time, the group members were all frightened. Hayuga Hinata. Immortal. Body. Butterfly Ninja. Immortality. Why can't he be killed? You must know that even those ghosts cut off their heads with a niche iron sword or died in the sun. Butterfly Ninja. Is immortality real? The Butterfly Ninja has never heard of a guy with an immortal body. Even a ghost is not that perverted. Kong Zan. Of course, I can't die. Otherwise why do you think they arrested me? Kong Zan. But I'm tired of staying here and plan to run away after some time. To shine Hong Hong. Question mark. Hayuga Hinata. Question mark. Butterfly Ninja? Question mark. Kan Ki Ken, are you just playing with your feelings here? In fact, you can run if you want. Kan Ki Ken was the first to react. Kong Zan, what's wrong? Can't you? Kan Ki Ken, boss. Of course. Kan Ki Yan's eyes were full of shock. He didn't expect that a big boss came this time. He was surprised. Butterfly Ninja, this dot is because I am short-sighted. Butterfly Ninja never expected that there would be someone who was more powerful than a ghost. With an immortal body. Is it true immortality, or is it a level of extremely strong resilience? Butterfly Ninja murmured. But just like that, she didn't quite know. Still skeptical. Konoa, Hinata family. At this moment, Hinata was also in a state of pure ignorance. Immortal? Such a thing really exists. Hinata covered her mouth in disbelief. Toshan. Toshan Hong Hong frowned. How can humans have immortality? Is this human being lying to others? She didn't understand. Not to mention that other races don't have it. So how can humans have it? It's impossible no matter how you think about it. Kong Zan sighed helplessly. But don't worry, it's been a long time. There are only a few more days left to endure. Then another half month passed. Kong Zan learned about the functions in the group and felt that there are quite a lot of functions. Sign in. Get a small amount of points. Send red envelopes. You can send objects or points to group members. Objects are limited to non-living things. Start live broadcast. You can show the status of the live broadcaster to the group members. Task. Group members will issue tasks when they are in danger, complete various levels of tasks, and obtain corresponding points. Point small, you can use points to buy things. There are five functions in total, which is pretty good. Kong Zan was still talking about his world to the group members at this time, and gave them some knowledge about the world of pirates. I talked to them all about devil fruits, marine pirates, three color haki, etc. While Kong Zan was still chatting, there seemed to be some noise coming from outside. Outside the Danzai stone cave. At this moment, Yamato was only 8 or 9 years old, but because he admired Kazukiden, he was tied to a pillar and his hands were tied with iron chains. Her lovely cheek was also bruised and swollen at the moment, which was pitiful. At this time, a man who was 7 meters tall and looked like a giant came over. He had a long beard and a pair of horns on his head like Yamato. Good. He is none other than Kaido's, one of the four emperors. And behind him was a younger brother. I'm sorry, 
Mr. Kaidos, because Anam kept making trouble, we had to take her down later, the boy said. But at first glance, although Yamato was tied up, everyone around him, without exception, all rolled their eyes and fell down. No. Iamadon. Iamadon. Yamato was still resisting at this moment, angrily yelling at Kaido. Answer me, Yamato, did you do this? Kaido held the mace and looked at Yamato. I didn't know, they fell down on their own. Yamato wasn't very clear either. Gulilu. Suddenly, Yamato's stomach made a sound. Hey unlock it, father. I'm going to starve to death, Yamato said very bluntly. But you must know that she calls Eden Eden every day, which already means that she and Kaido have a hostile relationship. After all, this is not a child's play. So that's it, you are the overlord. The future is really promising. But since you want to call yourself Eden, then go to hell. Kaido's words were merciless. The huge boulder blocking the entrance to the Sky Stone Cave was also dragged away. Then he untied the chains on Yamato. Kaido grabbed Yamato's clothes, picked him up, and walked towards the Sky Stone Cave step by step. Alas, why, I want to eat, Yamato shouted, struggling constantly. But what's the use? Kaido threw it directly into the Sky Stone Cave. Just like that, locked next to Kong Zan. Now, Kong Zan also raised his head slightly. Give you a month. Just calm down here, said Kaido looked at Kong Zan deeply, and that guy who is not a samurai has been here long enough, why don't you join our beasts pirates, Kaido frowned at Kong Zan, after all, Kong Zan hadn't eaten or drank in several years, thinking that he is not dead yet, not only can't he be beaten to death, but he can't starve to death either, ha ha, Kaido, you are too self-righteous, Kong Zan grinned, tsk, Kaido tsked lightly, turned around and left, ugh, why are you in such a dark place, Yamato also wanted to resist, but her hands were already cuffed. Even Anam will die. Even if the young man is locked up, there are still fierce warriors from Wano country in the cave. Mr. Kaido, as expected, the younger brother was a little worried. The words haven't been finished yet. Kaido stopped. The great swordsman of Wano, and that boy, you are just like that idiot. I will give you a month. If you want to join us, just shout at the vent on the ceiling. If you are willing to be my fighting force, I will let you out. You haven't eaten for a long time. Someone bring some food. But it's only for one person. Also, a samurai needs a sword. After Kaido finished speaking, he brought over food for one person, as well as five blades. Wait a minute, I am Kaido's child. If I give them a knife, I will definitely be killed. Yamato shouted, with a slight look of fear on his face. What are you talking about? Aren't you Eden? Think carefully about the meaning of this name. After finishing speaking, Kaido asked people to seal the stone of Tanzai Cave. Why is this? Yamato murmured. She looked at the warrior with some fear, and was even more frightened when she saw the young man nailed to the wall. Ha 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 ha. Kong Zan laughed, alas, hearing this laughter, Yamato hid even more fearfully, finally here, Yamato, Kong Zan said to Yamato, hey, do you know me, are you going to kill me, Yamato leaned against the stone wall and spoke in fear, after all, she is Kaido's child, the child of the culprit who kept them locked up here, huh, didn't you see me being nailed to the wall, why are you so scared, seeing Yamato's appearance, Kong Zan really wanted to laugh, huh, it seems so, Yamato took a breath and looked at the other three samurai, they all seemed fierce, finally, I have a knife, let me give you the sea tower stone chain first, as he said this, the blue haired warrior just picked up the knife, in a blink of an eye, he was about to chop off Kong Zan's iron chain, and was shocked, click, click, Kong Zan pulled slightly and the chain was broken, then pull out the nail from your hand, and the giant nail on the chest, after pulling it out, the wound healed instantly without even blood flowing out, Yamato looked dumbfounded, even the three warriors couldn't help but feel shocked when they saw this scene, hey, are you still human, chapter 3 escape from ghost island, hey, are you still a human, the blue haired warrior asked with a surprised look on his face, he even couldn't believe that the guy in front of him was a human, what a monster, the white faced warrior said in wonder, is there any creature in the world that regenerates so quickly, the dark warrior no longer believed that he was a human being, because the chest that was empty due to the giant nail began to heal to a degree visible to the naked eye. Monster ah, ah, ah. Yamato stepped back in fear, even though he was already leaning against the stone wall. Her body also curled up. Don't make such a fuss. Kong Zan narrowed his eyes and chuckled. My body hasn't moved for two and a half years. Oh, it's all rusty. Kong Zan said and stretched slightly. Every bone in the body seemed to make a creak sound. He pushed back his long hair, revealing his handsome cheeks. Then he picked up a blade lightly. Wave it casually. Ha. Huh. Kong Zan walked towards Yamato and inserted his sword directly in front of her. Hiss, Yamato was frightened. The three warriors looked at Kong Zan strangely, wondering what he wanted to do. Yamato, come to the sea with me, Kong Zan said directly. Ah dot ha. For a moment, Yamato's head stopped turning. Huh? Question mark. The three warriors behind also looked confused. You three, what? It's none of your business. Kong Zan looked at the three warriors behind him and rolled his eyes at them. Dot. The three warriors were stunned. Also dot I'm just informing you and not asking for your opinion. Kong Zan finished. Pull out the sword and swing it twice at will. Ding dong. Instantly. 
the two chains on Yamato's hands were cut off. This scene, the three warriors behind immediately became serious. You must know that the iron chain is fine iron. In other words, this young man can cut fine iron. At least he has reached the level of swordsman. Such a state at such a young age, coupled with that kind of regeneration ability, is enough to shock them. Okay, let's go and eat those things. We'll do one more thing later and then go to see. Kong Zan looked at her and then spoke. At this time, Yamato seemed to be no longer afraid, but she looked at the other three samurai and asked uncertainly, can I really eat it? Ha ha ha, you can eat it. The blue-haired warrior laughed. A samurai will never go hungry. The dark-skinned samurai waved his hand, as if he didn't care. The white-faced warrior also nodded. Everyone agreed. Immediately Yamato happily ran to the meals and ate them hungrily. The three warriors looked at Kong Zan. May I ask who you are that has such a terrifying regeneration ability? The blue-haired warrior asked first. They're just strangers. By the way, you are the daimyo of Wano. Kong Zan looked at the three of them and asked. Oh, since your excellency knows. It seems that he is not ignorant. The white-faced warrior curled his lips, and Kong Zan's eyes twitched. I just paid a little attention when I saw One Piece before. Could it be that I didn't know about it and haven't seen it yet? Right. I will go out later and take away your Wano princess Mitsuki Hiwa with me. It should be okay. After all, it is very dangerous for her to stay in Wano country. Why don't I take her away? If I didn't know better, that's right. Momonosuke and the others have already gone twenty years later. Twenty years from now, I will come back with Kuzuki Hiri. How about it? Kong Zan crossed his arms and looked at several people. Dot. As for the matter of bringing light to the moon and sun, it's entirely because the system released the second main quest. Although I don't know what the reward is, I might as well do it. It would also be great to train her to become a singer on the ship. But after he finished speaking, the eyes of the three warriors suddenly became sharp. Your Excellency, how do you know this? The blue-haired warrior asked. Looking at Kong Zan, huh? Is it about Momonosuke and the others? I saw it, Kong Zan said casually, looking back at each other without hesitation. It's not wrong to say that I saw it. I actually saw it while watching One Piece. Nothing wrong, huh? Forget it. Did you see? I didn't expect you to be there at that time. But I can't tell you where the princess is. The blue-haired warrior said. Well, obviously I got it wrong. Then don't say it. I'll just start the task tracking. Kong Zan's lips twitched. For the first time, he felt that this guy was so indebted and wasted his labor and capital in looking forward to it. Still have to turn on tracking. Tracking will only give a direction, not a specific location. If they tell you the exact location, it will be easier to find it yourself. Huh? Mission. Tracking? The blue-haired warrior was a little confused. Kong Zan no longer paid attention to him, but turned to look at Yamato. Have you eaten? Let's go then. Kong Zan said and hugged Yamato directly. Oh so fast, Yamato said in surprise, I just came in, is it possible that you have to stay for a few more days, Kong Zan said inexplicably, no, Yamato shook her head quickly, she couldn't stay in such a dark place for a moment, even if you want to, I don't want to anymore, Kong Zan curled his lips and pulled out the sword on the ground, but if you do this, father will, Yamato said worriedly, whatever, let's just run away, come on, just watch, then he looked at the boulder, ha, huh. a few swords at random boom, in an instant, the boulder blocking the exit fell apart, Kong Zan hugged Yamato and rushed out, ha ha ha, looks like we can't go out anymore, the blue haired warrior also laughed, and outside, Lord Kaido, the sky stone cave has been broken, Lord Anishi has been kidnapped, we must not let them, before he could finish his words, he was killed directly by the blue haired warrior who just came out, Kong Zan, on the other hand, ran wildly outside, system, consider it a robbery, give me a reward quickly, Kong Zan drank in his heart, ding, at least you have to escape from the ghost island to be considered abducted, Kong Zan cursed, using the breath of the sun with one hand, and had opened the transparent world, this is the first time I feel like this, Kong Zan felt his own power, after all, he didn't have this power when he fought Kaido in the past, and he seems to still have the power of stripes, but there are no lines, but the power is undoubtedly there, so even with one hand, Kong Zan kills these minions just like chopping vegetables. Just like that, he rushed out before Kaido came. Soon we arrived at the edge of Ghost Island. Hey, Yamato, can you swim? Kong Zan asked, looking at Yamato who was holding him with one hand. Of course, Yamato nodded seriously. Kong Zan was relieved. It looks like she hasn't eaten the devil fruit yet. Let's rush over. Jump directly into the sea and swim over. Kong Zan shouted. Ah, swim over. Yamato was confused. There is still a long distance between Ghost Island and the other side. Did you actually swim there? It doesn't matter, if you can't move, just tell me and I will pull you, Kong Zan said casually, unconsciously. The two of them had rushed to the edge of the ghost island, jumped, Kong Zan reminded Yamato, understood, Yamato nodded hard, without saying anything, Kong Zan took Yamato's little hand with one hand and jumped down, plop, after entering the water, Kong Zan directly grabbed Yamato and swam wildly, and Yamato is also working hard to adjust, Lord Guija was kidnapped and jumped into the sea, Quick, chase after her, a group of soldiers said, saying that, 
several minions immediately put a boat down. Then he chased him in a boat. Seeing that the ship was about to catch up with him, Kong Zan smiled instead, because there was only one ship following. It's too small of oneself. Hey, send a boat. Good man. Chapter 4 New Member Plus Equals Reward Plus Kong Zan, who wanted to swim over, saw the Beast Pirate's ship and immediately carried Yamato on board. Seeing Kong Zan holding Yamato, Everyone thought he had held Yamato hostage. A group of pirates from the Beast Pirates gathered around him. There were dozens of people. Hurry up, Lord Guiji. Those guys shouted. No Kardas? Who are you looking down on? Kong Zan said and started beating him. Then there were screams. After beating them, throw them into the sea. Only one trembling pirate was left behind as he drove off the boat. Ha! Huh, it's finally over. Kong Zan and Yamato came to the cabin lounge inside the ship. Soaked. Yamato sighed. I squeezed the water out of my clothes. The water on his body felt tick tick but still very wet. I don't have any clothes to change now, so be patient, Yamato. Kong Zan came over and rubbed Yamato's head. At this time, Yamato looked seriously at the man in front of him for the first time. His hair is a bit long, but his sharp eyebrows and starry eyes, with deep black pupils, make him very handsome. By the way. Why do you want me to get on the boat? Yamato's eyes were full of doubts. Obviously I didn't interact with him in the past. You may not know me, but I know you very well. You don't have to think too much. You can't beat Kaido anyway. Why not come with me to see the vast world, become stronger, and then beat Kaido again? Kong Zan said simply. Um, it seems to make sense. Yamato nodded and felt that there was nothing wrong, and then looked at Kong Zan with excitement. Then let's do it. As for how he met her, Yamato didn't want to do that. Too much. After all, she is just a little friend now. Why do you think so much? Yamato is Yamato, so straightforward. Kong Zan smiled. That's fine. To put it bluntly, I feel a bit like a weirdo who kidnapped underage girls. At this time, the system also sounded a beep. Ding. The mission of abducting Yamato to sea is completed. Congratulations to the host for obtaining advanced three-color domineering. Kong Zan was immediately happy when he heard the notification sound. The three-color domineering force is great. Finally, there is a way to deal with the natural system. It will be advanced as soon as it comes. The system is real. Kong Zan silently gave the system a five-star praise. Ding. The long-term mission has been released. Looking for crew members. Get a reward for each crew member you find. There are 10 reward opportunities in total. The system's mission was announced. Ooh ho ho. Kong Zan suddenly became excited. This system is too conscientious. After all, he was going to find Gwen Ayu in the first place. Theory. Then he turned to Yamato and said, Yamato, let's go pick up Kazuki Adan's daughter now. It would be bad to prevent your father from causing trouble again and accidentally killing her. Kong Zan said that he would directly blame Kaido. Oh. Father. He is like this. So I must defeat him, founding the country of Wano. As Yamato said, she was still very unconvinced, but she knew that she would definitely not be able to defeat Kaido now. So for her, going to seat to become stronger was nothing more than the best choice. Then Kong Zan looked out the window of the cabin and looked back. I don't know if those three samurai are dead, although it's none of his business. In his free time, Kong Zan looked at the group chat. In the past half month, some people have come in. They are, Mikasa, Akatumi, Bujimaseko. I guess I understand a lot now. Kanki Ken. Akatumi, are you really a killer? Akahitumi, yes. Specialize in killing those corrupt nobles. Kanki Ken, wow, so cool, so cool. Kanki Ken, isn't that the revolution? Aka Hitumi, yes, our night raid belongs to the revolutionary army. Bujimaseko, your world is really wonderful. It seems like we are here, it's just an everyday world. Bujimaseko, picture, high rise building. Red Hitumi, picture, imperial capital picture. Mikasa, so amazing. Mikasa was still very young at this time. She was surprised looking at the group chat, she saw the super tall buildings and a huge imperial capital that she had never seen before. She was a little surprised. She really wanted to see it, but now she just lives in a small wooden house in the forest. Kong Zan, people are posting pictures no matter what, so I'm here too. Kong Zan, picture, the ghost island that was in a mess, as for the picture, it seems that as long as you have a memory picture, after all, you can save it when you see it with your eyes. Inside the brain, Kong Zan, just came out of prison. Bujima Seko, red hi to me. Mikasa, Bujimaseko, a reformed through labor prisoner escaped. Kong Zan, Kanki Ken, oh, you didn't know when you first came here, brother Kong Zan is from the pirate world. There was a pirate over there who couldn't kill him, so he was imprisoned. Kanki Ken, and Kong Zan the eldest brother was so bored that he slept in prison for two and a half years before he came out. Bujimaseko, can't be beaten to death, inhuman. Red hi to me, how about trying my Mora Sames poison? I'll kill you with one strike. Mikasa, they are all so powerful. Kong Zan. I think you are insulting me at Bujimaseko, I am not a test subject, feed it red hi to me. Kong Zan curled his lips. What do these two people think of themselves? Butterfly Ninja, is brother Kong Zan released from prison? Butterfly Ninja, who just went online, scrolled through the messages above and then sent a message. Kong Zan, yes, 
Yes, Butterfly Ninja, picture, John I am learning flower breathing with Kani. Butterfly Ninja, recently, my sister has been teaching Kani the flower breathing, and I'm a little bored. Kong Zan, Kani is working very hard. Butterfly Ninja, working hard. This kid as long as she was told to do something, she would do it. She was so helpless. Butterfly inside helplessly. Every time her sister asked her to practice flower breathing, she did it. But her sister didn't care that much. After all, she said, Kan Ao is so cute. What does it matter? So Butterfly Ninja didn't care anymore. Kong Zan, she didn't refuse, right? That's good too. Butterfly Ninja, then that's true. Kong Zan is a little worried about when the second string will come out. Kong Zan, if you are in any danger, please let us know in the group. In case there is no mission released in the group, I will go and help you myself. Dot. After all, the points earned by signing in these days are enough to buy time travel. You need 100 points in the points mall to travel to the world of group members. Now I already have 150 points. Butterfly Ninja. Wow. Brother Kong Zan is so kind. Kan Ki Ken. Thank you. Mr. Kong Zan. Hinata Hinata. Brother Kong Zan. Thank you. Buja Maseko. Okay. Thank you. Brother Kong Zan. Red Eyes. Brother Kong Zan. If there is a task that is difficult to complete, I will call you. Kong Zan. At when you receive a noble girl named Aria who is going to kill. Tell me. Red eyes. Question mark. Brother Kong Zin. Do you still know our people here? Kong Zan. Don't worry about these details. I know more or less about your world. Kan Ki Ken colon alas. Exclamation mark. Kan Ki Ken. Isn't the boss in another world like us? How do you know about the world of Kai Tong? Kong Zan. I know everything about your world. And I even know your future. Kong Zan's words shocked all the group members. But since we are almost reaching the shore. He went offline. Red eyes. What does it mean to know the future? Exclamation mark. Kan Ki Ken. Real or fake? Exclamation mark Can boss Kong Zan know the future of other worlds? Exclamation mark. Butterfly Ninja, you can't die but you still know the future of our world. Are you really a human? At Kong Zan, Budima Seko, or is it a god? At Kong Zan, Mikaza, is brother Kong Zan a god? So awesome. Toshan Hong Hong, question mark. Toshan Hong Hong was confused as soon as she went online. Two days ago, she was talking about Kong Zan's immortality. Today. She actually said she knew the future of our world. Isn't this guy really not a human being? Is he really a god? Outrageous. Chapter 5 Aden. Idiot. At this moment, Kong Zan has arrived at the shore. There are maple trees all around. Pieces of golden maple leaves with a hint of red fell. Brother dot brother. Do you have any other orders? The pirate who sailed the boat said with a bruised nose and a swollen face, and some fear. No, you can go. Kong Zan waved his hand casually. Then he turned around, and if nothing else happened, he had now arrived at the Hibu port of White Dance in Wano which was the only port in Wano where he could go to see. Kong Zan just followed the direction shown by the coordinates and walked over. Yamato, do you want to become Aden? Kong Zan suddenly said. Yes. Do you also know Aden? I also want to be a guy like Aden. Yamato said with expectation. But that guy Aden, in terms of results, it was such a failure. Kong Zan looked at Yamato and said bluntly. Why? You must know that it was in the pot. Before Yamato could finish, he was interrupted by Kong Zan lifting the nine heroes of the red sky in that oil pan, right? This scene is indeed shocking. But. He is too stupid. Obviously he has the strength to defeat Kaido's. But when he has the advantage, he he was threatened and deceived by Kaido and Oki, and it was not until Kaido developed that he ruined himself. All I can say is that he brought it all on himself. Yamato, as my crew member, I don't want you to be so stupid. Kong Zan frowned. Explain. When I read the original work, I saw a lot of Adenbuki. It was obviously because of Aden himself that Wano got to this point. But, Yamato wanted to say something at this moment, but she felt that what Kong Zan said was indeed correct, so she lowered her head helplessly, not knowing how to refute, because she didn't know many things at all. She just saw Aden in the coma by punishment and felt that he was very manly, so she admired him. It's just a child's longing for a man. You should surpass Aden. Instead of becoming Aden, becoming the second loser like Aden. If nothing else happens, you should have Aden's voyage diary. Right? Kong Zan said directly. At this time, Yamato also thought about it and took out a diary of Aden's voyage from his soaked clothes. How do you know? The diary is wet. Yamato looked at the diary with disappointed eyes. This is the diary she has always cherished. It is recorded in it that Aden knew Whitebeard and Roger at that time. After all, he switched from Bay to Anne to Roger. Group of men, as long as he asks for help from the Whitebeard pirates or members of the Roger pirates, according to the Brotherhood of the Sea, they will definitely help. How can this place be occupied by Kaido for so long? So in my eyes, Aden is simply a fool. A fool who plays a good deck of cards to pieces. My crew members don't want to be that kind of idiots. Don't think that he is very powerful just because he carried nine people in a frying pan. He brought it all on himself. He could definitely crush it all with his ability at the time. Maybe with the loss of a small number of lives. 
the entire Wano country can be saved. After all, it is impossible for a war to kill people, but he did not even resist, and was led by Kaido and Oki all the time. Wano country is obviously a very promising country, but it was turned into this by his choice. Kong Zan spoke bluntly, with an unhappy look on his face. What? How do you know? Yamato looked at Kong Zan immediately. She didn't know how Kong Zan knew the contents of the diary because she couldn't read the words on it. Dot. But Kong Zan said that part of the content was that Eden jumped from the Whitebeard Pirates to the Roger Pirates. He also analyzed other plans in a completely reasonable manner. At this moment, she didn't know what to say. Is the Eden I admire so much really such a disappointing idiot? Kong Zan did not answer her, but continued. You saw him dancing naked that day, right? Do you think he can save her once and for all? Are 100 people great? If he is the real leader of a country, he should have the appearance of an emperor. I can understand him being shameless and groveling even if he takes 10,000 steps back. But he kept dancing without any preparation, not even the slightest preparation for the confrontational force. This was too arrogant. When Kaido took action against Wano country, he could have asked for help. There must be someone willing to help him. Eden. You are so stupid that you have nothing to say. Kong Zan curled his lips. At this moment, Yamato's body was trembling slightly. She thought carefully about the words of the man in front of her, and the tall body of Eden suddenly collapsed from her heart. If it were me, I would definitely send some inconspicuous people to secretly build a ship or steal a ship, and then find some reliable people to go over and notify Whitebeard or Roger's regiment for help. No matter what, you must ask for help from outside, and then confront them in a stalemate and prepare your military strength, waiting for Whitebeard or Roger's regiment to come. After G arrived, he directly responded internally and externally, and I had more than 80% chance of success. Eden. He is really such a good hand, but he plays like this. Kong Zan was very confident. Then he felt speechless. If you put it this way, Eden, he, is it really wrong? Yamato also looked at the voyage diary in his hand with some confusion. You don't have to live in the shadow of a loser, you should see the world for yourself. Then Kong Zan snatched the voyage diary from Yamato's hand. Yamato wanted to reach out and snatch it back, but then she gave up. Was she wrong? If this goes on, she will become a loser like Eden. Like Eden. He can't save the country of Wano. Yamato pondered. Shwa shwa shwa. Kong Zan directly tore the wet voyage diary into pieces. The sea, you have to explore it yourself. The country, we have to fight for it with brains and strength. Do you understand, Yamato? Kong Zan curled his lips and spoke boldly. Yamato looked at the diary shreds on the floor and seemed a little relieved. Since you want to defeat Kaido and found the country of Wano, you should not target Eden who was defeated by Kaido. You must surpass Kaido and have the power to change the situation of the war on your own. Kong Zan laughed, then squatted down slightly and touched Yamato's cheek. Become my crew member, become a person who surpasses Eden, and then come back to defeat Kaido. And found the country of Wano. How about, Yamato? Kong Zan said with fighting spirit. Okay, I will surpass Eden and accomplish what he cannot do, and at the same time I will surpass my father. I will definitely let the country of Wano be founded. Yamato was immediately exaggerated by Kong Zan's emotions, full of fighting spirit, and full of hope for the future. Said longingly, this is like my crew. From now on. You will be the deputy captain of our pirate group. Kong Zan nodded with satisfaction. Fortunately, Eden's ideas are not too deep now, and he can still be pulled back by himself. Hee hee, thank you, um. By the way, what's your name? You've always known my name, but I don't know yours yet. Yamato looked at Kong Zan with a questioning look on his face. Just call me brother Kong Zan. Kong Zan chuckled. Then he picked up Yamato like a child. Oh, it's really like a child. Didn't you expect that guy Kaido to have such a cute child? Kong Zan looked at Yamato Shishi with some fondness. Cute? Question mark. How can you call a man cute? HMPH. Yamato pouted, but did not stop Kong Zan from hugging her. She still has a good impression of the man who rescued her from the Danzai Stone Cave. Ha ha ha. You are obviously a girl. Why do you still like to call yourself a man? Kong Zan pinched her pink and tender face. So soft. Q bomb Q bomb. Let's find a place to change clothes first. Kong Zan took a look at the system mall when he was just reading the mission and found that there seemed to be clothes available for purchase in the system mall. Huh? Do you have any clothes? Yamato asked with some confusion. After all, both of them were soaked and there was a maple forest nearby. Don't worry, I'll conjure it up for you later. Kong Zan raised his eyebrows, looking at Yamato he was holding. He smiled and said, Oh, brother Kong Zan is so awesome. Can you really do it? Yamato looked forward to it. The eyes seemed to be shining with golden light. Of course. Let's go. Let's go to Hiari's side first. I remember there is a small cabin there so we can change clothes. Kong Zan said and hugged Yamato and left. When he was a child, Yamato hadn't grown up yet. Big. He remembered that when Yamato grew up, he would be over two meters tall. Dash. Chapter 6 Mitsuki and Hiwa After walking for what felt like a long time, the two finally saw a small stream. If I remember correctly, it should be around here. Based on the fragmentary memories of the original work, and the fact that Kong Zan has the direction of tracking this mission. 
Kongzan roughly understands it. Yamato has fallen asleep in Kongzan's arms. Really dot you can still fall asleep with your clothes so wet dot is expected of you Yamato. Kongzan complained softly, looking closely at her pink face. One can tell that she is really cute. White hair with a hint of blue-green at the end. How did this kind of hair grow? Dot does this special kind of white hair change color due to oxidation over a period of time? Amazing. But her eyebrows and eyelashes are black. Is her hair dyed? But it feels very smooth, and it's not as dry as dyed ones. No matter what, it might be a racial trait. She also has a fragrant smell on her body, which smells very good. Speaking of which, Yamato will be very sassy and strong when she grows up. It would be great if she becomes my vice captain. Kongzan thought, looking into the distance, I seem to see a small wooden house. Almost there, he murmured. He walked over with Yamato in his arms. When I walked to the hut, it seemed that there was only Kozukahi and one person in the house. With blue-green hair and eyebrows, black eyelashes, and dark blue pupils, she really looks like a pretty beauty. Hi, kid, can I borrow the place? Kongzan greeted. Ah, Hi suddenly reacted and looked at Kongzan. Please dot please use it. Yeri seemed a little afraid to speak. Yamato. Wake up. Kongzan pinched Yamato's face and spoke. Huh? Yamato opened his eyes in a daze. Rubbed his eyes. She slept well. Really a bit crazy. Kongzan put her down and bought two fitting clothes directly from the system mall. It's the kind of clothing that looks like a samurai. Kongzan handed the clothes to Yamato. This is yours. Kongzan looked at Yamato. Dot. Huh? Question mark. Yamato took the clothes and suddenly became surprised. Brother Kongzan, where did your clothes come from? Question mark. Damn it. How did you change it? Didn't you see? Yamato suddenly became energetic. Ha ha ha. Don't worry. Kongzan waved his hand. Okay, you go over to Yeri and change your clothes. After Kongzan said that, he turned around and started to take off his clothes. Then Yamato turned to the other direction. You dot how do you know my name is Raika? She heard Kongzan calling her name. Kozuki Hiwa suddenly felt something was wrong and asked, Are you here to catch yourself? She thought to herself, Oh, don't worry, little Yeri, but I plan to take you away. After all, if you are here, you will be a drag on Kawamatsu. Right? I invite you to be a musician in my pirate group. How is it? Hi. You like music very much, right? Kongzan turned his head slightly and said, At this moment, I have taken off my clothes and pants and started to put on my clothes. You dot how did you know? Yari never expected that the man in front of him would say Kawamatsu's name and his love for music. The main thing is that she likes to play shamisen. It surprised her. I know everything. I even know that your plan will be successful in 20 years. Kongzan said straightly with a curved corner of his mouth. At the same time as he spoke, he pulled up the pants he had put on with a swish sound. Ah, uh Yari -uh. was surprised. Did you not expect that the man in front of you even knew this? And will it really succeed? How did you know? Yari was a little confused. I can see the future. Kongzan smiled softly. He was fully clothed and turned around. What? Yamato and Hiari shouted together. Even Yamato was surprised now. Halfway through putting on his clothes, he turned around and looked at Kongzan in surprise. Hey, Yamato, turn around and put your clothes back on, you idiot. Kongzan's eyes twitched. As for what? Such a big reaction. Ah, yes. Yamato's face turned red and he quickly turned around and put it on. It seems that I was a little ashamed when I was a child. Think about how Yamato put Momonosuke in his clothes when he grew up. Ahem, I don't blame you. Everything is Momonosuke's fault. Momonosuke must die. How about it? Yari join us to see the world outside Wano. After all, you won't have enough food if you stay here with Kawamatsu. Why don't you go to sea with us first, and wait until the second day ten years later, I will bring you back. Kongzan smiled softly. At this moment, Yamato on the side was also dressed. The white samurai uniform suited Yamato very well. Twenty years later. Dot, will it really dot really be successful? Yari suddenly started to cry, put her hands on her chest and huddled in the corner of the room. She didn't know whether she was excited or sad. Of course, since we all have the fruit of time, it's normal for me to be able to see the future, right? Kongzan nodded naturally. Such an explanation made Yuri even more convinced, even though he seemed like a child who was easily deceived. You 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 underscore how about it? Let's go see the world together, Yuri, Kongzan said, walking forward, squatting down and wiping away her tears. Yeah, I'll go with you. Yari narrowed her eyes and showed a bright smile. Then go say goodbye to Hisong, Kongzan said. No, Hisong will definitely not let me leave if he finds out. Yari shook her head. She stood up, walked to the table, took out a pen and paper and started writing a letter. She planned to say goodbye in the form of a letter. But speaking of Yari, by the way, she is the ruthless person who pulled Roger's nose hair when he was born. Ha ha ha, ding. Completed the mission to find the crew one-tenth. Received reward. Enhanced smart version of Wanli Sunshine. Kongzan was stunned by this reward. Is the enhanced smart version still good? It is still the ship of the protagonist group in the original work. Kongzan said. Wonderful, wonderful. 
This ship is temporarily stored in a system warehouse and can be released when needed. By the way, I don't know what your name is yet. Heist little head looked at Kong Zan, eyes filled with anticipation. Just call me brother Kong Zan. Kong Zan smiled softly. Okay, brother Kong Zan. Yari narrowed her eyes happily. Her tone was exactly the opposite of Yamato's. It felt very soft. After all, Yamato has regarded himself as a man since he was a child, and his tone will be more bold and straightforward. Brother Kong Zan. When will we go to sea? At this moment, Yamato looked at Kong Zan, looking forward to going out to sea. At this time, Kong Zan was wearing a black warrior uniform and had his long hair tied into a warrior head. He was still very handsome. Let's go now. By the way, Kaido has probably discovered that we have escaped, right? Hold on tight, Kong Zan said. Dash, Ghost Island. Kaido looked at the three samurai who were captured again and frowned. These three warriors were already tied and kneeling in front of Kaido. Why did that kid take away my son? Kaido looked at the three people for questioning. TSK, don't say we don't know. Even if we knew, why would we tell you? Kaido. The blue-haired warrior clicked his tongue and looked at Kaido with disdain. What a tough guy, Kaido said, stood up, slowly picked up the thorn iron rod and walked to the blue warrior. Give you another chance. Where exactly is he planning to take my son? Kaido shouted angrily, his eyes clearly filled with anger. I said, I don't know. The blue-haired warrior looked at Kaido with the same anger on his face. Okay, very good, Thunderbagger. Kaido picked up the thorn iron rod and waved it directly. Shua, boom. After the sound of the friction between the air and the thorn iron rod passed, there was the sound of objects colliding. The stick hit his head directly. The blue-haired warrior flew directly backwards, hit the stone wall, and made a big crater. His already injured head was hit again and he fainted directly. Kaido's eyes moved to the other two people. Dot. Chapter 7 Enhanced Smart Version 1 Lee Sunshine Kong Zan took the two little ones and returned to Ben Wu Port, but Ben Wu Port was already heavily guarded. He frowned, feeling a little troubled. The three of them hid behind the maple forest and looked over quietly. Brother Kong Zan, shall we rush over? Yamato looked at Kong Zan. At the same time, Yari's eyes also moved over, as if asking what to do next. Kong Zan directly used 10 points to buy a Toki and threw it to Yamato. And Yamato also caught it quickly. So light, is it a Toki? I still prefer to use a mace. Yamato slightly pulled out the Toki from the scabbard and said directly. After all, she always used mace. No, 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 it's better for girls to use this. Don't listen to your father's brainwashing. A good girl calls you son every day. You are speechless, Kong Zan said. There is nothing elegant about a girl holding a mace. As a normal boy who has gone through nine years of compulsory education, it means that a mace is not suitable for a girl. Okay dot girl, Yamato pondered because in the past he lived a manly lifestyle. I have never felt that I am a girl, but it is indeed a fact that I am a girl. Yamato looked at the Toki in her hand, and even though she was very nervous, she didn't even think about it. Okay, don't be in a daze. There are about a hundred people on the other side. Protect little Yari and follow me. Kong Zan rolled his eyes at her, and he also brought a long sword, because the sword seemed to have been lost when he jumped into the sea. He tied the scabbard around his waist. The long sword stayed firmly in the scabbard. Then he walked out slowly. All the members of the Beast Pirates looked over. That's him. The guy who kidnapped Lady Guiji. A pirate pointed directly at Kong Zan and said, Where is Lady Anijai? The pirates said angrily. A group of pirates surrounded Kong Zan. Before Yamato could catch up, Kong Zan was already surrounded. I'm here. Don't third brother Kong Zan. Yamato said, pulling out the sword and swinging it to her. Although these people call her Anam Sama. She doesn't like such a title simply because of Kaido. This title is as if she is also a part of the invasion of Wano country, but what she wants to do is to found the country. Liberate the country of Wano. Yamato was seen waving the blade casually. He made a swish swish sound. Two pirates fell down. So light. Yamato, who had been holding a mace for a long time, now used the light sword with ease. Why, you're not coming. Kong Zan looked at the pirates around him, a little strange. In fact, his deeds back then have already spread throughout the Kaido pirates. He resisted Kaido with hundreds of blows and was even beaten to a pulp without dying. He was imprisoned by Kaido for two and a half years and still starved to death. In their eyes, they didn't know how to catch the man in front of them. If Kaido hadn't been criticizing the three samurai at this moment, the three disasters are all on missions, so how can they take their turn? Moreover, the Linkong six sons and the like are not perfect yet, and they are probably just brats now. At this time, the beast pirates are not strong. You, Kong Zan just took a step forward. I saw the pirates in front quickly retreating. I also heard them whispering. I saw it then. Boss Kaido beat this guy to a pulp. He was still standing here intact. Is he really a human? That's right. I was I saw it too. This guy isn't a human. How can a human being be beaten to a pulp and still be able to recover? Did he eat some fruit? No way. Boss Kaido is always open. He was armed and domineering. Dot. The sound of muttering continued like this. At the same time as he said this, the pirates who were close to Kong Zan were so frightened that their knives were shaking. Kong Zan also understood at this time. Unexpectedly, he was beaten up by Kaido before, 
but he became more powerful. TSK, get out of the way if you don't want to fight. Kong Zan frowned slightly and shouted softly. In case it's late, it would be troublesome if Kaido caught him. But it's over. Several people were indeed still blocking the front. Don't even want to leave. Numb. Kong Zan walked forward directly. Yamato, Yeri, follow me. Kong Zan turned his head slightly and spoke. Yamato grabbed Yeri and rushed forward. The sword was waving in her hand, but no one dared to get close. After all, she is Kaido's daughter, and no one dares to do anything to her. The two of them hid behind Kong Zan. Then Kong Zan put his hand on the sword. There was a sound of shua. Dot. Several people in front fell down. A bloody path was cut. With Kong Zan in the lead, the three of them rushed forward in a straight line. Soon, just arrived at the port. Brother Kong Zan, do we want to rob their ship? Yamato asked. She looked towards the beast pirate's ship at the port. No need. We have a boat. Kong Zan just finished speaking. Only a bright light flashed in front of him. The enhanced intelligent version Wanli Sunshine was extracted from the system. It's so big, Yamato's eyes flashed with gold. At this moment, a ball of light appeared in front of Kong Zan. What is this? Yamato looked at the ball of light, curious. And Yuri also looked at the light ball. The enhanced smart version Wanli Sunshine has been activated. It has detected enemies around it. Do you want to board the ship? A female voice came from the light ball. This shocked Yamato and Yuri. This thing can talk. Yamato looked shocked. It's amazing. Yuri's eyes were shining at this moment. Kong Zan was a little speechless, but there was a group of pirates behind him. Kaido was coming if he was late, so he had better run away. Yes, send the three of us to the ship. Kong Zan nodded lightly and spoke to the light ball. Then he looked at the surrounding ships. They were much smaller than his own ship. Copy that. Move the three people to the boat. After the light ball finished speaking. It turned into a large hollow aperture and enveloped the three people. The inside of the big light ball was very warm. Then whoosh! The three people appeared on the boat. Wow 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 wow! Brother Kong Zan! What is this? He can talk, and he also got us on the boat in no time. Yamato looked surprised. He ran around on the ship for a while, observed their ship, and finally looked at the light ball. Yeah, it's so awesome! Yari's A's were also shining with golden light as he looked at the ball of light. There's no time to explain. Turn on automatic navigation. Can you locate Nico Robin? Kong Zan asked. He was planning to go find Robin, because counting the time, Ahara has been over for several years at this point. Now little Robin is still in dire straits, and she is this. There are only a few people who can read the text of history. So Kong Zan decisively chose Robin as his target this time. No problem. Starting positioning. West Sea. Unnamed island. Positioning successful. Seeing that there was no problem, Kong Zan immediately nodded, and then immediately ordered, Start tracking. Autopilot starts. As soon as he finished speaking, the ship started immediately. At the port under the ship, only the beast pirates were left in confusion. Hain dot, what's going on? Such a big ship suddenly appeared. This group of people will become light. Flashed, and then it's gone. The pirate's tone was full of doubts. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, that ship is getting away. They must be on that ship that appeared out of nowhere. Another pirate suddenly shouted, Fire, give me a shot. A pirate with a rocket launch rushed out and blasted him without saying a word. On Kong Zan's side, the system reported the situation. An arms threat has been detected, and the protective barrier has been activated. In an instant, the entire ship was wrapped by the barrier. Boom, the rocket launcher hit the barrier. But the barrier was intact, let alone the ship. Hey, hey, what is that? Fruit ability. The pirates were a little sluggish. Chapter 8 Superlock. Wow wow wow. The barrier around the ship. It's amazing. Is it made of this light ball? What the hell are you? Light ball. Yamato yelled and touched the light ball, but unexpectedly he passed through it. Passed. Yuri also looked at it curiously. She was a little more restrained than Yamato, but she couldn't help but touch it, but she still couldn't. I am the enhanced intelligent version of the ship spirit intelligent system of the Wanli Sunshine. You can be called Xiao Ling. The ball of light answered Yamato's question. While Yamato, Yeri and Xiao Ling were chatting, the voice in Kong Zan's mind appeared. Ding! The second main line of taking away Kozuki Yeri has been completed. Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward. No side effects the full power of Ain Zoil Gaon. Kong Zan suddenly curved his lips and murmured, The power of the Bone King is really pleasing. Kong Zan felt the extra power in his body. It was magic power, and it was a very huge magic power. There were also hundreds of kinds of magic in his mind, almost all of which were necromantic magic. Unknowingly, he had reached this sea area. Boundary. The sea current cliff ahead. Do you want to activate flight mode? Suddenly, Xiao Ling, the light ball next to him, suddenly spoke. Start it. Kong Zan walked towards Xiao Ling and said directly. Starting. Start the jet engine on the bottom of the boat. Start the air circulation energy. Suddenly, the huge ship suddenly flew up. All the power of the ship it uses air to convert energy and then outputs it. It really flies. Yamato stood by the railing of the ship in surprise, looking at the blue ocean below in surprise. It looks good. At this time, Yeri looked at Wano country in the distance, which was also a beautiful sight. Kong Zan held up his hands he put it on the heads of the two women and rubbed it, 
with a slight smile on his lips. I'll be back, he said that. The two women nodded in unison. Of course, I believe Brother Kong Zan. Yamato looked serious. Now she decided to practice hard. It's really reassuring to have Brother Kong Zan here. Yari used her two small hands to grab Kong Zan's big hand touching her head, feeling the warmth of the big hand. Okay, Yamato will have to practice hard as the deputy captain in the future. Yari also needs to study hard as a musician. Kong Zan smiled lightly and spoke to the two of them. Okay, I know. The two of them also responded cooperatively. Xiao Ling, Kong Zan called out to the light ball. I'm here. Is there anything I can do to help him, Master? The ball of light quickly appeared in front of Kong Zan. Enter Yamato and Hiri into the ship administrator's authority. Kong Zan spoke directly. Yamato and Hiri. I saw the light ball. Xiao Ling slightly scanning their bodies. The entry was successful. Okay, Yamato and Hiri. So you can also control this ship. Just communicate with Xiao Ling. Kong Zan explained. Okay. The two said in unison very synchronized, under the sunlight. The two women's cheeks were particularly cute. That's right, Xiao Ling, please introduce the structure of the ship. Kong Zan asked Xiao Ling again, although he knew that it was constructed according to the Wanli Sunshine model, it was just that it would be relatively larger and have more comprehensive functions. After all, it was an enhanced smart version. These two kids still need to explain. Moment, a stereoscopic 3D projection appeared in front of the three people. That is, the various areas of the ship. The F3 floor is mainly a lawn trees, tables, and swings. And there is an entrance that can hold fish, which is connected to the aquarium below, which is quite a large fish tank. There is a small mushroom room at the stern of the ship, a library on the first floor, stairs to go up, a bath on the second floor, and a cubicle with a wash basin. Floor F2, girls room. There is also a canteen, medical room. Floor F1, boys room. Inside the aquarium, you can see the fish installed in F3, and there is a small passage on the outside. At the end is the energy room which converts air into energy. On the B1 floor, there is a superlock production room, which uses different text descriptions to make superlocks. In the middle is the superlock exhibition hall, which stores hundreds of kinds of superlocks. Not only can the superlock be used to transform into armor, but the superlock can also be used to summon mechas that are hundreds of meters high. Kong Zan looked at various analyzes. The front is fine. The B1 floor is really outrageous. Will we be the mecha pirates from now on? I'm really speechless, although it's really cool. Speaking of this superlock, it should be somewhat similar to a superpower lock, right? To put it simply, it is an armor transformer worn on the hand. Quite interesting. It's interesting that Kong Zan said it was interesting, but generally it's best not to rely on outside help. Yamato, once you understand. Let's go and exercise. I'll go to the B1 floor first to take a look. Kong Zan said clearly. Ahem. Although don't use external force. But it's better to take a look. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, brother Kong Zan. Yamato said with a happy face. After all, it was her first time to see a 3D projection or something. I still want to do some research first. Yeri did the same, looking at him curiously. Kong Zan walked directly down to the B1 floor at this moment. What comes into view are the transparent glass display cabinets. Each display cabinet is equipped with a special superlock. Ark. Kong Zan walked to a display cabinet. It reads, Fire Kylin Superlock, which can be used to obtain the power of the Fire Kylin, including the power of the fire element, transformation armor, summoning mecha, etc. Oh, to be honest. This thing is a bit similar to a devil fruit, except that it can have extraordinary power without turning into a landlubber. Kong Zan touched his chin and thought. Then he walked around again and felt that most of them were superlocks based on various incredible species. Oh, wolf god Oku true god superlock. All of these? Just for Yamato. After all, she hasn't eaten the devil fruit yet. Wonderful. How to open this? Kong Zan nodded, and then studied how to open the glass. Oh? This is... He suddenly found a piece of black glass. Does it look like a fingerprint? Kong Zan pressed his index finger on it to dry. Did he? The highest authority administrator, Kong Zan, unlocked successfully. After a sound, the transparent glass suddenly disappeared without a trace. Pretty good. Kong Zan took the blue and white superlock and nodded with satisfaction. Then we walked around again. This is the sacred beast, the Suzaku of Flame. This should also suit Yeri. Kong Zan touched his chin. Then he brought the superlock with him. Afterwards, Kong Zan wandered around for a while and then went up. Speaking of which, these superlocks are actually quite similar to smart watches. The functions are not as limited as imagined. Yo, Yamato, Yeri, come here quickly. I've got something for you. Kong Zan waved to the two women who were still playing with little zero in the distance. Coming, coming. The two men ran over quickly. It's yours, Yamato. As he said this, Kong Zan handed nice blue and slightly white superlock to Yamato. Then he turned to Yeri and took out the red superlock. This is yours. Hike, Kong Zan said. After you put it on, it should be automatically bound. Only you can use it. In short, you can study it yourself, Kong Zan said to the two of them. Then he sat on the seat under the mast. To explain briefly, Kong Zan plans to go to the group chat. All right. 
he just couldn't be bothered to explain much. Late stage of lazy cancer. Chapter 9 Giant World, Kong Zan. Everyone, I'm back again. Kong Zan, why is it so quiet? Kan Ki Ken, the boss is back. Is the boss a god? We didn't dare to talk casually anymore. Jin Muian expressed that he was very scared. Kong Zan left in the middle of the conversation. In an instant, everyone guessed that Kong Zan was a god. Otherwise how would ordinary people know what would happen in the future? Then many people in the group didn't dare to speak. After all, if he was really a god, it would be bad to offend him casually. Kong Zan, god, not yet dot but I can't say for sure in the future dash. Kong Zan, don't worry, it's not a big deal. Just chat normally and don't think too much. Kong Zan said that these people think too much. Although he is different, as a time traveler, he is a man with a script in his hand. But when it comes to becoming a god, I guess he's still a little short of it, but with a system in hand, it's only a matter of time before he becomes a god. Butterfly ninja, few, immortal body, seeing the future, as a human being, brother Kong Zan is also a top existence. Butterfly ninja said that he was scared. Bujima Seko, brother Kong Zan. He is truly an extraordinary man. Kong Zan, Kong Zan, stop bragging, I will be proud. Kong Zan said that he didn't seem to be that strong. The hairless cat Beerus the god of destruction, would still be killed if he tried it. The destructive power would destroy all his cells. After all, one's own recovery ability is not completely unlimited. Even if all the cells are damaged, they will still be damaged. But as long as there is one active cell left, it can be restored. This is the resilience of Ghost King Kong Zan. This resilience is actually not only the Ghost King's resilience, but also that of Jigo Enishi, Bone King and the others. Their own resilience is in a superposition state. Therefore, in comparison, his resilience will be stronger than Wu Han's. Besides, he is not afraid of the sun, so it is even more incomparable. Everyone felt relieved when they saw Kong Zan being so casual. Mikasa, brother Kong Zan. Help me. At the same time, the group chat releases tasks. Ding. Group member Mikasa's family was attacked by human traffickers, asking group members for help. Task difficulty, low level. Task reward, 1000 points. Number of people limited, one person. Which member accepts the task? Butterfly Ninja, Sister Mikasa, are you okay? Bushima Seko colon human trafficker, how abominable. Kong Zan, you've given me your name, so don't worry and leave it to me. Mikasa, I, I'm fine, it's just father and mother. Dash, the world of giants. 844 years, in a cabin in the woods. This is not Mikasa's home, but another cabin. She was tied up now, her eyes were lowered, and her expression was a little dull. She just woke up, and here she is. Then I immediately asked the group for help. After all, there was really nothing I could do. It seemed that he was brought here after being knocked unconscious. There were two traffickers next to him. She recalled the murder of her father and mother, and she secretly thought. Does she have no home anymore? There was an unspeakable sadness in her heart. Hey, it's almost time to change. A man with a short hair, wearing a green coat, the man still wearing a scarf opened the door. Then the short-haired man spoke to the man with standing hair next to Mikasa. This man with vertical hair was wearing black clothes, a white shirt underneath, a red bow tie, and a square face. It's a pity that oriental woman. Otherwise she could be sold for a lot of money. The man with the straight hair said, It was Mikasa's mother who had been killed, and he felt a little sorry. Then he frowned and looked at the other brown-haired man, because he was the one who killed him. The brown-haired man's hair is not long, just a little longer than a short haircut. He has a full mouth of stubble and grey-black clothes. There's nothing we can do about it. She came over with a knife at that time. If I didn't kill her, I would be injured. The brown-haired man waved his hands helplessly. That's right. The man with straight hair sighed, while the three of them were chatting. Hey. Mikasa. Really, how could a few adults do something to a cute little girl? Kong Zan shook his head. At some point, he had appeared next to Mikasa. In this world, Mikasa's black hair and black eyes couldn't be more obvious. At this moment, Kong Zan has also started a group live broadcast. Butterfly Ninja. Wow, wow, is this brother Kong Zan? Kan Ki Ken, brother Kong Zan is so handsome. Bujima Seko, samurai hair, this hairstyle is very handsome. Dot and Kong Zan doesn't care what the group says anymore. Who are you? When did you come? Kong Zan's sudden voice came. The man with the bristling hair jumped back. The brown-haired man also picked up the axe. Boy, it's best not to meddle in other people's business. The brown-haired man said, looking intently at Kong Zan. Wait a minute, he also has black hair and black eyes? Could it be that he is also an oriental? Boss, won't this make up for it? Ha 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 ha, the brown-haired man said with a smile. How can a Malaysian be as valuable as a female? Forget it. At least it's not that bad. The man with straight hair sighed. Be careful, he has a knife on his waist. The short-haired man said worriedly. Kong Zan, on the other hand, didn't care about those three people. He helped Mikasa sit up. Then he touched the corner of Mikasa's mouth, and there was a trace of blood. Did you get beaten? Sorry, I'm late. Kong Zan hugged Mikasa. A warmth filled Mikasa's body. The originally cold body suddenly felt warm, and for some reason, the originally uneasy heart gradually recovered. 
so warm. Mikasa murmured, asshole, you pretend I don't exist. The brown haired man said, picking up the axe and hitting Kong Zan on the head with the back of the axe. Because they are afraid of killing the other party. After all, for them, this is all money. Brother Kong Zan, be careful behind your back. Mikasa reacted and shouted in fright, and her heart that had just been relaxed suddenly rose again. Dong, went on. Kong Zan remained motionless. Okay. Let me help you untie you. Kong Zan seemed as if nothing had happened. Then he pushed Mikasa away from his arms and helped her untie the rope from her body. What? The brown haired man behind Kong Zan took two steps back in disbelief. The touch he just felt didn't feel like hitting someone at all. It was like hitting an extremely hard rock. Quick, kill him. He is not a normal person. The man with straight hair shouted quickly. He already felt something was wrong. The brown haired man also reacted and said with an angry face, I don't care if you are a human or a ghost. I'll die on horseback. As he said this, the brown-haired man directly slashed the axe directly on the back of the neck. Bang. It still didn't move at all, and the skin didn't even break. And Kong Zan has already untied Mikasa's rope. The people in the group were already noisy. Can Ki Ken, use an axe to chop your neck dot and keep cutting? Buja Maseko, even the skin is not broken, is this the immortal body? Butterfly Ninja, indeed. It's a bit too far to say it's a human, but it's not a ghost either. Butterfly Ninja is a little confused. After all, if it was a ghost, he would have eaten them all. So how could he be so leisurely? But those who seem to be, are just ordinary people. Even if you use an axe to chop a ghost, you may not be able to cut off the ghost's head. After all, the ghost's neck is also very hard. Red eyes, the skin cannot be broken. In this case, the poison cannot get in. Chitong also frowned. What should you do if you encounter such an enemy? Chapter 10 Akaman Bloodline Kong Zan pulled out the sword from his waist. Mikasa, if you are your enemy, you should do it yourself. He handed the sword to Mikasa. Kan Ki Ken. Let a child fight against three adults, brother Kong Zan. No matter what, this is too. Buja Maseko, it is indeed very difficult. Dot. And Mikasa took the sword, looking at the long sword in her hand still a little dull. Kong Zan turned his head and pointed at the three people. The revenge of killing your parents should be solved by yourself. Kill them. If you win, you will live. If you lose, you will die. If you don't open Tata, you will die. Tata open. Mikasa. Open the tower. Kong Zan finished. Pictures of her parents' deaths suddenly appeared in Mikasa's mind. The death of my father. The death of my mother. And the memories of the past. The anger rushed up. Are you kidding? A monster like you can't be beaten to death. Children, we are still. The brown haired man looked at Kong Zan. Kong Zan's loud tone seemed to frighten him, and he was sweating slightly nervously. But he still didn't care about Mikasa next to him. Even if she's holding a sword, she is just an inconspicuous child. Little did I know. At this moment, Mikasa's Ackerman bloodline has reached the edge of awakening. Tata is on. Tata is on. Exclamation mark. Dot Mikasa kept shouting in her heart, her heart beating faster and faster. Tata open. Ah, uh, Mikasa shouted. Holding a long sword, he suddenly rushed towards the brown haired man. Even the floor was trampled to pieces, and the terrifying power burst out in an instant. The brown haired man's pupils suddenly shrank. Are you kidding? The sword pierced his abdomen. Didn't even react. PFFT. The brown haired man spat out a mouthful of blood. Damn it. The man with straight hair frowned and looked at Mikasa. It's not over yet. Mikasa. Pull it out. Continue. Kill them all. Kong Zan suddenly shouted. Mikasa gritted her teeth. At that moment her body stopped shaking and she drew her sword. As if his fighting spirit was infected by Kong Zan's words. A steady stream of blood power burst out from his body. She has awakened. The Ackerman bloodline has awakened. Look at the next man with bristled hair. The look in his eyes made the other person take two steps back in fright. She suddenly pulled out her sword and charged forward again. The man with straight hair quickly took the stick next to him and blocked Mikasa's attack. Shwa. In an instant, the stick in the man's hand was hit along with his body, and his white shirt was stained with red blood. Ah, monster. You are all monsters. The short-haired man at the door opened the door directly. Seeing his fallen comrade, fear arose in his heart. He planned to run out, but at this moment, whoosh. Mikasa threw the sword directly. It just hit the man with an inch inch head in the back. The man with an inch head groaned in pain and fell down. Ha! Huh. It's obviously your fight that makes me scared. Kong Zan took a breath. After all, he is ready to take action at any time. Are you tired Mikasa? Kong Zan stepped forward. He rubbed her head. Kan Ki Ken, so amazing. I feel like Mikasa is no ordinary child. Butterfly Ninja, just now, Mikasa's sister seemed to be different suddenly. Was it brother Kong Zan who inspired her power? Buja Maseko? Very exciting. Buzuji Maseko was a little excited watching this battle. This is also the other side of her. Red eyes. Very talented as a killer. Dot. Thank you. Thank you. Mikasa stuttered, as if she hadn't recovered yet. His legs were weak and his body was paralyzed on the ground. Kong Zan walked forward. Pull out the long sword at will and put it into the scabbard. Ding. The mission has been completed. Group member Kong Zan received 1000 points. Whether to return to the world. Kong Zan. Number. It was so hard to come to another world. 
How could I go back so quickly, Kong Zan? The wonderful ending, everyone, I will turn off the live broadcast. As soon as Kong Zan sent it, the live broadcast was turned off. Then he extended his hand to Mikasa. Mikasa also stretched out her hand. Kong Zan directly pulled it up. Let's go first. Kong Zan spoke first. Where to go? Mikasa seemed a little helpless at the moment. She didn't know what to do, and her eyes were still a little dull. Of course, go and bury your father and mother's bodies first. Kong Zan rolled his eyes at her. But since you haven't recovered enough, I'll carry you there on my back. Kong Zan said, squatting down, looking back, and motioning to come over. Oh dot brother Kong Zan, is it really okay? Mikasa seemed to be hesitant. You can see that this is a child with no opinion. Okay, come on. Kong Zan confirmed again, and Mikasa finally came up. Hold my neck tight. Kong Zan said and hugged her legs with both hands. So warm. Mikasa leaned against Kong Zan and murmured softly. Then he hugged her tighter. His little face was pressed against Kong Zan's shoulder. I don't know the way. You should be familiar with this area. Kong Zan turned his head slightly. He spoke softly to Mikasa. Well dot over there. Mikasa stretched out her little finger and pointed forward. Okay, let's go. At the same time, the chat group started to get noisy. Kanki Ken, at colon where are your parents? Mikasa colon dead. Kanki Ken, ah dot sorry, sorry, butterfly ninja, idiot. Didn't you see that Kong Zan said before, you should resolve the revenge of killing your parents with your own hands? Bujima Seko, so that means. Kong Zan knew from the very beginning that Mikasa's parents would die. Red eyes. He didn't say anything at first, nor did he stop it. Kanki Ken, well, brother Kong Zan must have some reason. Mikasa, Bujima Seko, for those who know the future, they really cannot change the future at will. It will have a great impact, maybe what could happen dot isn't that how science fiction movies work? Kanki Ken, that makes sense. Red Eyes, a science fiction movie? I just think that Kong Zan is just a group member with us. In fact, even if he knows the future. He has no obligation to save us. Butterfly Ninja. Yes, we have never met. We just chatted a few times in the group. It is good that he can take unknown risks to help save Mikasa. Unknown. Maybe it is known. Butterfly Ninja. Forget it. I don't understand. Kong Zan. There are so many things in the future, and I can't possibly remember them all so clearly. In addition, I told you to notify me quickly if something happens in the future, so that I can help you. Otherwise there is nothing to say. Kong Zan's eyes twitched. And the most important thing is that if it affects the main plot too much, you can't tell. Otherwise, if something unexpected happens, even he will definitely not know part of the future. Bujima Seko, that's right. After all, the future is uncertain. Butterfly Ninja, if you encounter a difficult enemy in the future, please quickly ask Brother Kong Zan to help. Brother Kong Zan is still a very good person. Butterfly Ninja, also, if you are like the gangster just now, it's okay to call me. Red Eyes, if I have time. I can help. Hinata Hinata, alas. A lot of things happened. Is Mikasa okay? Hinata has been practicing during this period, so she didn't log into the group chat much. Today when she went online, she saw tasks posted in the group chat. Mikasa colon it's okay. At this moment, Mikasa and Kong Zan had also arrived at her home. Chapter 11 Be My Family. Kong Zan put Mikasa down on his back. Mikasa, I'm sorry. Sure enough. It's because I came late. Kong Zan looked helpless when he saw the two cold corpses. It's none of brother Kong Zan's business. Father, mother. It's because of my incompetence. Mikasa lowered her head. She didn't dare to take action at that time, because she was afraid, which led to all this happening. If he had taken action at that time, if he had killed these three people at that time, this kind of thing would never have happened. It's her cowardice. Kong Zan stepped forward and lifted Mikasa's father's body. Mikasa, on the other hand, seemed to feel uncomfortable with bare feet. So I went to put on a pair of shoes first. Later, she followed Kong Zan's example and worked hard to move her mother's body. But because she was too short, she could only drag her mother's body. Let's bury them in the forest and set up a monument. Kong Zan said to Mikasa behind him. Okay, Mikasa also responded. But at this moment, a little boy and a middle-aged man not far away walked towards them. The little boy happened to see Kong Zan carrying Mikasa's father's body out and he rushed over angrily and punched Kong Zan. Bang! Kong Zan was punched without moving. Asshole, what did you do to them? The little boy saw that his punch was useless. Immediately came up with a kick. TSK. Kong Zan stretched out a hand. He held Mikasa's father's body with one hand. Kid. The other hand directly lifted his leg up. The little boy's legs were pulled directly, and his whole body fell over in the air. At this time, Mikasa, who was dragging her mother's cold body, also came over. Brother Kong Zan is not allowed. Mikasa looked at the little boy sharply. Kong Zan threw it away casually. The boy fell directly to the ground. What's going on, Mikasa? At this time, the middle-aged man came over. Dr. Grisha, father, mother, were all killed by human traffickers. It was Kong Zan who saved me. Mikasa lowered her head, and stretched out a hand to hold Kong Zan's clothes corners. For her, Kong Zan at this moment was the source of all security. And Grisha nodded in understanding. Give it to me, Mikasa. 
Grisha said, helped Mikasa lift her mother's body. It was difficult to see Mikasa dragging such a big person with her small body. Just go and bury it in the forest, Kongzan said bluntly. He gestured to Grisha with his eyes. But now the little boy understood. Sorry, the little boy said. Kid, you have to know that there are some things that you do too impulsively. If you say sorry later, it may be useless. You have to change your impulsiveness. Kongzan glanced at him casually, then walked forward. The little boy was silent at this moment. As for Mikasa, he kept pulling on a corner of Kongzan's clothes and followed him with his head lowered, not knowing what he was thinking. Only the man in front of him can give him a warm feeling. I don't know how long I walked. Kongzan stopped. Ah, Mikasa suddenly bumped into Kongzan's back and subconsciously covered her forehead. Kongzan turned around and saw Mikasa's cute look, and suddenly wanted to laugh. Ahem, hold it back. How can you laugh in such a serious situation? That's it. Kongzan looked at the ground here and said, This is one of the few open spaces in the forest. Okay, Grisha also nodded. Then, the two bodies were placed together. Um dot my name is Iren. Sorry, Iren also spoke to Mikasa at this moment. Because of my misunderstanding, I felt a little guilty towards both of them. Just apologize to brother Kongzan. Mikasa glanced at him. Then he continued to run to Kongzan's side and looked at the bodies of his parents. Mikasa, how old are you this year? Kongzan asked curiously. Nine years old. Mikasa answered. That's quite small. Kongzan rubbed her head. If I remember correctly, one year later, in 845, the walls of Maria fell. In a year, I can come back and play again if I have the chance. Mikasa, do you have a shovel at home? Grisha asked. Yes. Mikasa nodded. Okay, Alan, let's get the shovel. Grisha gestured to Alan. Okay, father. Alan followed his father and walked over. See the two people walking away. Mikasa looked at her father and mother. His eyes became dull again. Brother Kongzan, tell me, where should I go from now on? It's so cold, but I'm homeless. Mikasa's eyes were a little dull and she hugged the cold body. Kongzan grabbed her hand. It's really cold. These are for you. Kongzan casually took out a black velvet jacket. Then there is a black scarf. Kongzan put his coat on her blood-stained white clothes. Then he wrapped a black scarf around her neck. Immediately afterwards, hugged her. How about this? It should be warmer. Kongzan said softly. It's so warm. Mikasa looked at Kongzan and snuggled into Kongzan's arms. What was warm at this time was not the scarf or clothes but the warmth brought to her by Kongzan himself. Ahem, Mikasa, look at us all with black hair and black eyes. Do we look like a family? The following words seemed a bit hard to say, but he said it anyway. Mikasa, come with me. Be my family. Kongzan stroked her hair. Kongzan said these words for the first time. He was really a little shy inside. But the surface still has to be kept plain. Huh? Mikasa looked at Kongzan with wide eyes. My eyes seem a little sore for some reason. After encountering so many uncomfortable things, it's time to take a good rest. Don't worry. As long as I'm here, no one will bully you in the future. He said again. Hearing this, Mikasa's tears seemed to flow out unconsciously. He buried his head firmly in Kongzan's arms. It was as if she didn't want him to see her crying. Okay, Grisha and the others are coming. I'll take you away as soon as the situation is resolved. Kongzan wiped her tears. At the same time, I had a private chat with, chat group assistant. Kongzan, how many points do you need to bring someone back? Chat group assistant. 100 points slash one person. Kongzan's hanging heart was finally relieved. In this case, he can take Mikasa away. But, I really look like a white beard, and my family has put it away. But at this time, in order to prevent the tragic ending of the giant world, it is really better for me to take her away. Otherwise it would be really heartbreaking. This world, the future dot everything. Kongzan, can you mark the coordinates and so on so that you can come back later? Chat group assistant. Do you want to spend 500 points to enable this world travel permission? Kongzan colon yes. Chat group assistant. 500 points have been deducted. Chat group assistant. Marking successful. World coordinates are. Giant eye. World number 1506. Chat group assistant. Warm reminder. Next time you travel, you can choose any location coordinates in this world to teleport. Chapter 12 Pirates and Freedom Grisha and Alan arrived soon. He holds three shovels in his hand. Mikasa's words. Let her rest nearby. After all. She was very tired. The three people shoveled the soil out of a big hole and put the body in it, then cover it with soil. Finally a monument was erected. Unknowingly, it has already passed from afternoon to evening. Then I will take Mikasa away. Kongzan looked at the two of them. Mikasa, are you sure you want to follow him? Grisha seemed to want to persuade him to stay. After all, the man in front of him was not very familiar to him. He just said he was passing by and saved Mikasa. He will inevitably feel uneasy. Yeah, Mikasa nodded. Okay, then pay attention to safety. Alan and I will leave first. Upon seeing this, Grish no longer held back too much. With that said, he and Alan left. Mikasa, then it's time for us to leave. Kongzan said to him. At this time, Mikasa's little hand pulled up. Those little cold hands. It's because the weather here is really cold, and because he has been sitting next to him. 
but Kong Zan's hands have always been warm. Kong Zan, teleport me and Mikasa back together. Chat group assistant, 100 points will be deducted. Chat group assistant, start transmitting. Dash, then, pirate world. Kong Zan was finally on the deck. It was almost dark. Xiao Ling. Kong Zan called. I'm here. Suddenly, a ball of light appeared in front of Kong Zan illuminating the surrounding darkness. Where are Yamato and the others? Kong Zan asked. They asked where you were, and I told them that you will be back, just wait. Then they prepared food in the kitchen, and my avatar taught them how to make various foods. Please don't worry. The ingredients are also some unlimited ingredients brought on the ship, which are ordinary poultry meat. If you want to eat Neptune meat, you need to catch it yourself. Xiao Ling said. Kong Zan nodded, indicating that he understood. Mikasa, Let's go. Kong Zan said and waved to Mikasa. Mikasa looked at the light ball curiously. It wasn't until Kong Zan called her that she came back to her senses. Let's go to the dining room. It's time for the two of them to start playing tricks. Kong Zan said. In this way, the two of them walked into the cabin. The dining room was in F2 and was connected to the kitchen. In the dining room, there are already many delicious looking dishes on the table. It seems that Xiao Ling's clone taught him well. Brother Kong Zan. You are back. She is. Yamato turned to look at the girl next to Kong Zan curiously. Yuri also put down what she was doing and walked over immediately. Let me introduce. She is a new member. Her name is Mikasa. She's very cute, isn't she? Kong Zan chuckled and pinched Mikasa's cheek. It's really cute. My name is Yamato. Yamato ran over first and introduced Mikasa. My name is Yuri Kozuki. Just call me Yuri. Yuri followed and spoke to Mikasa together. How old are you two? Kong Zan asked Yamato and Yuri. Eight years old. Six years old. They both said together. Yamato is eight years old. Yuri is six years old. Then Mikasa is older than you. Looks like I have to call you sister. Kong Zan laughed. Huh? Mikasa also looked slightly shocked. Didn't you expect that you would be a sister as soon as you arrived? Okay, okay. By the way, can you finish cooking so much? Kong Zan looked at the dishes on the table feeling helpless. It's okay. Xiao Ling said that the things in the refrigerator are unlimited. Just close the refrigerator door and open it again, and you'll have it again. Yamato looked proud. Aha. Is this the reason why you waste food? Kong Zan's eyes twitched. Forget it. Let's eat as much as we want today. Let's have a banquet. Our pirate group is officially established. Kong Zan cheered. Pirates? Mikasa looked at Kong Zan curiously, and Yuri also looked over. Yamato was unfazed. Well, just think of it as a symbol of freedom at sea. Yuri. Don't think too much about it. After all, pirates are not just thieves who burn, kill and loot. For me, being a pirate is more about adventure and freedom. Kong Zan looked at Mikasa and Yuri with a smile, and said excitedly. Yeah. Hai nodded, and she understood what Kong Zan meant. It was because she was afraid that she would think she was on a pirate ship. But dot her father Kozuki Eden was also a pirate in the past. She was also born on the Roger Pirates ship. Is that so? Is there an ocean outside this ship? I've never seen it before. Just now. Mikasa noticed that there was indeed an ocean around her, but her greater interest was attracted by the light ball. That's right. Mikasa is welcome to join. But what should we call the pirate group? Kong Zan touched his chin and thought. This is a symbol. Forget it. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Kong Zan waved his hand. He looked like it's too much trouble. I gave up. By the way, I haven't eaten in two and a half years. Eat quickly. Eat quickly. I feel that my body functions have declined. Kong Zan said and sat on the chair. I just picked up the chopsticks and started eating. Ahem. Two and a half years. Yari was surprised again. Fake. Mikasa couldn't believe it. Brother Kong Zan seems to have been locked up in the Sky Stone Cave for two and a half years without eating. After all, my father can't kill him. Yamato said directly. She had also heard about this matter. After all, Kong Zan's reality was causing quite a stir back then. But then he thought about it. He hadn't eaten for so long but he could still give the food to him when he was in Tanzushi cave, and his heart suddenly felt warm again. Oh, your father? Question mark. Yari's face was filled with questions again. Mikasa was also very confused. Well, my father is Kaido. Yamato said it anyway. Ahem. Yari was surprised that Kaido's daughter had been beside him for so long, but she doesn't know yet. Kaido? Mikasa said she was still confused. That's Kaido who occupied Wano? Yari looked at Yamato angrily. Sorry, but don't worry. I will definitely defeat father. Then let one of country be founded. Yamato looked serious. You, looking at Yamato's serious expression. It seems that everything has been said, but it seems that nothing has been said. Forget it, let's eat first. Yari sighed. She also understood. It seems that Yamato in front of him is not on the same team as Kaido's. Otherwise he would not have been able to protect himself at Basu Port and go against the beast pirates before. Ever since, all four of them started to eat. Mikazu asked curiously from time to time. She wanted to understand what the world was like and how wonderful it was. Talk. When he got on the boat before, Kong Zan had reminders in his mind. Ding. Complete the mission and find the crew two tenths. Received reward. Slavery chain x10. Slavery chain? It shouldn't be just an ordinary chain, 
right? Kong Zan touched his chin. The rewards given are always good. Slavery chain. After putting the chain on your neck, you will maintain self-awareness, but you will completely obey the master's words and will not be able to do anything to harm the master. The system explained. Slavery chains. This reminded Kong Zan of the original work of Giant. That. A world where even freedom can become a shackles. Think about this pirate world again. Sure enough, only pirates are the symbol of true freedom. Kong Zan finished his meal. Walking out of the cabin, he looked at the endless sea. Although it was dark, he could see very clearly at this moment. This sea is the freedom of human beings, just like everyone is a slave to something. The young man who pursues freedom will eventually wear the yoke of freedom. A girl who pursues love will eventually cut off her lover's head. Giant. Chapter 13 West Sea, Unnamed Island in the Evening. Kong Zan waited for the three girls to finish taking a bath. Then he went to take a shower. Had a simple sleep. Bashi is very good. Early in the morning, Kong Zan was bored and opened a chat group. Kanki Ken, good morning, everyone. Butterfly Ninja, good morning, how many points do you have? Butamaseko, more than 100 points, you can get them by signing in during this period. Red Eyes, me too. Kanki Ken, I have more than 300 points, and I signed in for more than a month. Kong Zan, I think I still have more than 500 points. Butterfly Ninja. So fast? Didn't all previous tasks have 1000 points? Brother Kong Zan, you are a nouveau riche, Kong Zan, there is no way. It cost 500 points to set a coordinate in Mikasa's world, and then it cost another 100 points to bring Mikasa to my place, and I was poor again. Butterfly Ninja, that's right. If Mikasa has no place to go, she can only go to you. Mikasa, the scenery on Brother Kong Zan's boat is so beautiful. Kanki Ken, ship, Kong Zan, picture, the scenery looking down from the spaceship. The Endless Sea. Kanki Ken. Wow wow wow. Spaceship. Butterfly Ninja. This ship. Can still fly. Butterfly Ninja's expression was outrageous. What kind of ship is this? It's still flying in the sky. This scene at this time. I just want to say. Sir. Times have changed. Bushima Seko colon a science fiction movie? Real or fake? Red eyes. It's amazing. Don't forget it. I'm on a mission. I'll see when I get back. Shit on glanced at it and quickly logged off. Kong Zan. Look at me Kaza. Picture. Mikasa looks at Yamato wielding a huge mace. The mace was specially bought for Yamato to practice. It is about the same size as Kaido's thorn iron rod. Kanki can call on Mikasa. By the way, is the guy with horns next to Mikasa human? Amazing. He's about the same age as Mikasa and can carry such a big mace. Buja Maseko, this kid is indeed a little bit beyond ordinary humans. Mikasa, Yamato is awesome. Kong Zan, she is the deputy captain, so of course she is powerful. Kanki Ken. Alas, you want to be the vice-captain at such a young age? Kong Zan, Yamato's potential is beyond imagination. Butama Seko, so far, it seems true. Butterfly Ninja. He is indeed very talented. Please help our Demon Slayer squad destroy ghosts in the future. Kong Zan, ha ha ha. From now on, if the guys are really difficult to deal with, just let me do it. She still has to exercise. Butterfly Ninja, brother Kong Zan. Are you trying to protect your shortcomings? Kong Zan, no way. Kong Zan looked at Mikasa beside him and suddenly thought that Mikasa didn't seem to have much protection. Choose a super lock for her. Kong Zan murmured. I don't know which one is suitable for her. Then, he went to the B1 floor again. Mikasa doesn't feel like she needs fancy abilities. She was very strong in the original work. Coupled with the awakening of the fighting instinct of Ackerman's bloodline. She has the same black hair and black eyes as me. She is very suitable for becoming a shadow. Kong Zan smiled slightly. It would be good if she was cultivated into a mysterious, powerful and beautiful character like that. Kong Zan looked at these super locks one by one. Suddenly he saw a black super lock. Then, his eyes widened. Oh, it really does. Shadow God, Shadow Demon King. Kong Zan's mouth curved. He looked at the analysis above and murmured, This thing is quite interesting. Dash, on an unnamed island in the West Sea, a barefoot black man the little girl was walking aimlessly on a beach, as for why she didn't go to the village on the island. If she went deep into the village, her identity would probably cause trouble, and there are a lot of mafia in the West Sea. If there is a running into the mafia would be very troublesome. She didn't know where to go at the moment. At this moment, an old woman came over. Oh my god, why are you here alone? The white-haired old lady asked with a kind face. I dot I have nowhere to go. The little girl said with a disappointed look on her face. Her head lowered unconsciously. Oh, that's really bad. I've always been alone. Then why don't you and I go home? Question mark. The old woman looked kindly and asked the little girl. Ah. Is it really okay? Robin looked at the old woman with surprised eyes. Of course, come with me. My house is by the sea, the old woman said. She put her hands on her back and walked forward with her waist hunched over. The little girl followed quickly. She didn't know how long she had been walking. She saw a small house on the beach not far away. A small cabin made of wood. Not too big, not too small. It was probably enough for the old lady to live alone. The two of them walked into the house. There were not many things in the house, 
but it was very neat. Ha ha ha, me too. There's nothing to entertain, don't you? The old woman suddenly paused. Robin, my name is Nicole Robin. Seeing that the old woman didn't know her name, Robin said it with a smile. Robin, take whatever you want to eat yourself. The old woman seemed stunned for a moment. Then she smiled at Robin. Dot. She is a very kind old woman. Robin thought so. Dash, unknowingly, it was almost night again. Kongzan had already handed over the super lock to Mikasa. Mikasa was also having a great time, almost. Using the Shadow Demon King as escape, it turned into a black round shadow and ran around the ship. Then Yamato and Hiari chase. But how can they catch him if he turns into a shadow? Wow, this ability is great. Mikasa has never been so happy even if she usually does. This can be said to be the most fun she has had recently. Here, here, Mikasa immediately rushed to the mast. She emerged from the shadows, standing on the top observation deck. Wearing black armor, he looks very cool. Then she pressed the super lock on her hand a few times. The black armor like a helmet on his head disappeared instantly. She breathed air. Ah, she shouted into the distance. At this moment, she felt the freedom of the sea. She tightened the black scarf around her neck. This is the scarf Kongzan gave her. I got you. Yamato was wearing ice blue and white armor. She hugged Mikasa directly from behind. I surrender. Mikasa waved her hands. You guys are too fast. At this time, Yeri, wearing crimson armor, caught up. But, you are indeed brother Kongzin. There is such a fun thing. Mikasa sighed as she looked at the armor, then looked from the observation deck to Kongzan sitting below. Kongzan just smiled and waved at her. Brother Kongzan is really super strong. Not only is he super strong, he can also make us super strong. All in all. He is super powerful, Yamato said with admiration. Yeah, right, I think so too, Yari nodded. Ahem, although we don't know how this super strong person was caught by Kaido at that time. By the way, it's over there, our destination. Not far away, Mikasa saw an island. Ugh, I finally saw the island. Xiaoling, what kind of island is this? Yamato asked. Suddenly a ball of light appeared next to Yamato. Western Sea, Nameless Island. There are some scattered villages and some mafia. To the south of the Nameless Island, there is a forest with many beasts in it, Xiao Ling explained. Chapter 14 Betrayal, West Sea, Unnamed Island. Inside the cabin, behind the old woman were several men in black holding pistols. Robin looked nervously at the men in black in front of him. Old woman. Who are these people? Robin, who was scared, leaned back with his bare feet. She already had the answer in her mind. But she didn't believe it. Is she Nicole Robin? The Nicole Robin with a bounty of 79 million. A leading man asked the old woman. Yes, that's her. You will give me the money. Right? The old woman changed her appearance. He pointed directly at Robin. The way he looks now Dot is like a devil falling into a money jar. He still had the kind look before. That's right, boss. She looks exactly like Nicole Robin in the wanted poster. A man in black held the wanted poster and repeatedly compared it with the Robin in front of him. This move made Robin even more scared. Very good. Don't worry, we will definitely share it with you when we get the money. The leading man in black grinned and said to the old woman, while the two were talking. Ugh, Robin pushed them away and rushed out. Tears flowed from his eyes. She at this moment, it was despair over the betrayed old woman. After her hometown O'Hara was destroyed, she wandered around and experienced countless betrayals. Trust people's kindness time and time again. Betrayed again and again. There was no pain in her heart. Even a kind old woman will turn into a demon and kill her if she sees her bounty. Hurry up. The leading man in black suddenly spoke. That's all. She escapes. He chased. They have no wings to fly. Robin kept running forward, and the tears in her eyes made her unable to open her eyes. Suddenly, a muffled sound of bang. Ah, uh, Robin bumped into someone. She covered her head and looked up at the man in front of her. Oh, it's not good to bully a little girl. Kongzan knelt down, faced Robin in front of him, and gently rubbed her head. You, run quickly, they are the mafia. Robin heard the footsteps behind him and shouted to Kongzan quickly. Why are you running? Just these little guys. At this time, Yamato appears. Yamato, you ran too fast, Yari said quickly from behind. At the same time, he ran over with Mikasa in his right hand. Hey, who are you? These men, led by men in black, pointed their guns directly at Kongzan. At the same time, the men in black also took out the guns from their coats and pointed them at Kongzan and the others. Don't try to steal Nico Robin from us. The man in black, who was leading the group, said angrily. His eyes stared at Kongzan. Brother Kongzin. Leave these guys to me. Mikasa stood up with a serious expression. She was also disgusted by the behavior of these guys chasing a child. Oh, Yamato said that he ran so fast just because he wanted to fight. Unexpectedly, Mikasa grabbed it with a backhand. But seeing Mikasa's serious look, she stopped talking. Otherwise she would still want to fight. Yeah, leave it to you. Kongzan nodded and looked at Robin. Okay, don't cry. How old are you? Kongzan asked Robin's age. Huh? I dot I'm ten years old. Although I don't know why I asked my age. But Robin said it anyway. Now she is only two years after the O'Hara incident, and she is still relatively innocent. After all, the Robin in the original book is a woman who has experienced 20 years of betrayal, betrayal, and abandonment. 
but she has not turned into a black woman to survive. Everything is a last resort. And now that Kong Zan has come to this world, he doesn't want this kind of tragedy to happen again. Mikasa, you have to deal with it quickly, or I'll fall for you, Yamato said and puffed his lips. By the way, Dot Yamato is actually talking loudly. You probably learned it from Hiri, right? Finally looks like a girl. Kong Zan thought slightly surprised. Leave it to me, Mikasa nodded. He took off the black scarf and handed it to Yamato. She was afraid that the scarf would get dirty. Then activate the super lock directly. Black armor covered his body. Then, there seemed to be arc-shaped crescent-shaped blades growing out of the armor on her two forearms. Dark dot like a shadow. Arsal. Is this armor? Fire. Anyway, as long as there are heads, you can exchange for the reward. The leader of the men in black ordered to the younger brothers. Then, bang, bang, bang. The men in black were shooting randomly with pistols. Shadow shield. Mikasa whispered softly moment. Kong Zan and the others were wrapped in black shadow. It looks black from the outside, but from the inside it is very clearly visible from the outside. Then Mikasa escaped directly into the ground and became a black shadow. The dark shadow rushed directly forward. Ah, uh, ah, uh, she turned into a shadow. The horse rider, is this guy a monster? No. She is a devil fruit user. Ah, uh, run, run, arsehole. The armor on her body can't be penetrated at all. Stop fighting, run. Paralysis. Dot. In there were screams one after another. Kong Zan just watched the black clothes of these men in black being dyed red. Well, although I can't see clearly, but it must have caught on. Wah, wow, Mikasa killed the last person. At this moment, the armor all over his body was covered with red blood. After experiencing the human trafficker incident, she accepted the fact that she had to fight. In this world, the strong are respected. If you don't fight, you will die. If you fight, you may live. That's why she didn't hesitate. At this moment, she was extremely decisive, not to mention that when she saw these people arresting Robin, she was reminded of the traffickers who killed her parents, which made her even more angry. Coupled with the blessing of the superlock now, it couldn't be easier to kill these people. She lifted the shadow shield. Then, the armor on his body was also removed. She came over, took the black scarf from Yamato's hand, and wrapped it around herself. Kong Zan looked at the old woman in the distance who was now frightened. He probably already knows the whole story. After all, he was the man with the script in hand. So Robin was betrayed again. Robin, she betrayed you, right? Do you want to kill her? Kong Zan pointed at the old woman. He spoke nonchalantly. Dot. No. By the way Dot are you also going to trade me for a bounty? Robin's body was shaking a little. At this time, when she saw the bloody scene in front of her, she could no longer tell who was good and who was bad. PFFT. Don't worry, brother Kong Zan won't do this. Yari laughed. Beside Robin. He spoke to comfort him. Robin also looked at Yari at this moment wondering whether he should believe her or not. But the other person seemed to be a child about the same age as himself, even smaller. Let's take her to the south to hunt. Xiao Ling said that there is a forest to the south with many beasts. Yamato said expectantly. After all, you have to go out and eat some game. Although the food on the ship is good, you will get tired of it if you eat it often. Okay, Robin, let's go together. Kong Zan said softly. After all, Robin looks very depressed now. Let's take her to eat first. Robin hesitated for a moment, then nodded. After all, the person in front of me doesn't feel bad about me. Once again she trusted someone else, too. After all, there were various betrayals over more than 20 years in the original work, but 20 years later dot she still believed in the straw hats. It shows how much she longs for a partner. Really are. Uh, no matter how many times he tortures me, I still treat him like my first love. This him specifically refers to partner. In fact dot Robin is just longing for a destination. Chapter 15 Partners In the forest to the south. There was a fire burning in front of Kong Zan. A larger wild boar was roasted on top. It looks like it's about two meters big. Sky, Yeri, wearing red armor with a pair of red wings growing out of her back, flew over. This pair of wings is not a mecha, but the real Suzaku wings with feathers. This is one of the abilities of the flame Suzaku. The red wings burned like flames. Very beautiful. I brought the seasonings. Yari waved to Kong Zan and the others from the sky, and then landed. After landing, the armor and wings on his body suddenly disappeared. She looked at the roasted wild boar and looked like a greedy little cat. She also held a bag of spices in her hand, which were all taken from the ship. After all, how can you have barbecue without seasonings? Oh. Yari is back. Kong Zan sat on a tree that had fallen to the ground. He waved to Yari. Then he patted the place next to himself. Come, sit here. Raihu obediently sat next to Kong Zan and handed the bag to Kong Zan. It's just the two of them here now. Yamato went to continue hunting. Mikasa took Robin to help Yamato, but Mikasa still focused on protecting Robin. Kong Zan took the bag and took out the condiments inside. There are many conditioning bottles in various colors. Yeri, it's not bad. The seasoning is quite good. Kong Zan praised and chuckled. He rubbed her little head. Head touching and killing have become a daily routine. He he. Yeri blushed slightly and laughed. A child who is praised. I'll be very happy indeed. Then, Kong Zan sprinkled the seasonings one by one on the wild boar that had been roasted. Coupled with the burning of the flame, 
the aroma of roasted wild boar is overflowing, and the skin becomes golden and crispy, which is really mouth-watering. However, wild boars are different from suckling pigs. In comparison, the meat of wild boars will be firmer and more nutritious. In this world of pirates, food nutrition is extremely necessary. After all, those big pirates all eat hundreds of meters of Neptune-type food. Although he has never eaten it, it still tastes quite delicious. It smells so good. At this time, Yamato came out of the forest and dragged a bison. He looked at the roasted wild boar and his mouth started to drool. Mikasa also swallowed her saliva and made a gulu sound. Robin was a little hesitant. Yamato, come here. Kongzan waved Yamato. Come on, brother Kongzan. Yamato ran over and stood in front of Kongzan. Why are your clothes so dirty? Next time you go hunting, turn on the armor first. Also, go back and take a shower afterwards. Kongzan said and patted the dust on her clothes, like an old father nagging. He he, I know. Yamato nodded slightly, and for some reason, a slight blush appeared on his face. There are just four of you, each with a boar leg. Mikasa, leave it to you. Kongzan smiled slightly at Mikasa behind him. Okay, seeing that she was designated, Mikasa nodded briskly. A dark shadow blade suddenly appeared in his hand. After three strokes and five divisions, Four wild boar legs that were crispy on the outside and tender on the inside were cut off. She divided. After dividing, he sat next to Kong Zan. Then he took his big pig leg and handed it to Kong Zan. Brother Kong Zan eats too. Mikasa smiled slightly. Well, there's no need. After all, I'm immortal. It's okay if I don't eat. Kong Zan shook his head. After enduring two and a half years of hunger, he no longer felt hungry. No, brother Kong Zan, try it. Mikasa looked serious. Kong Zan smiled and ruffled Mikasa's hair. As expected. Mikasa is very gentle. Then, Kongzan just wanted to accept. Yeri on the other side puffed her lips. And my, brother Kongzan, try it too. Yeri said as he handed over the bitten pig's trotters. Ah dot this. Kongzan suddenly felt a little numb. Usually at this time. Brother Kongzan, if you want to eat, why don't you leave me alone? Eat mine. Yamato also handed it over. Really, Yamato is inevitable. And mine. Robin felt like he couldn't get over it, and seemed a bit out of place. Oops. What are you doing? In that case, Kongzan sighed. You are really making things difficult for me. He is a pig, so there is no need to worry about it. Aren't these four legs all from a pig? Kongzan tore a piece off each leg. Okay, this is enough. Go and eat. After you finish eating, take care of the bison caught by Yamato. We can still eat it tomorrow. Kongzan said to the four girls. Okay, the four girls also said in unison. Then Kongzan bought a large bucket of pure natural apple juice. It only costs one point and comes with a dozen cups, which is really cheap. How can we have barbecue without juice? Drink. We're having a banquet. Kongzan directly scooped up a cup with a cup. Okay. The girls cheered. The main reason is that they are too young. Otherwise Kongzan would just buy wine and drink it. And Robin gradually integrated into it. I don't know how much time passed. Everyone finished eating the wild boar and took care of the bison. Robin's ability helped a lot when dealing with the bison. The flower fruit is still very convenient and can be transformed into many hands. The remaining apple juice was not finished yet. So he took it back with a processed bison. After all. I can't finish a bucket of apple juice in one day. In front of the huge ship, Kongzan let them go up first. While he was chatting with Robin outside the ship, Robin, become an archaeologist on our ship. Kongzan said to Robin, How do you know? Robin was a little surprised. Unexpectedly, the man in front of her actually knew that she was good at archaeology, but she was relieved after that. After all, Ahara's story had already spread throughout the sea. Don't worry, I will protect you. They will protect you too. This period of time, must be very tiring. Kongzan looked at her. The eyes are very sincere. It was a heartbeat that even Robin couldn't refuse. I'm very tired. Robin lowered his head, recalling his past struggles for food and clothing, and his several betrayals for her bounty. Tears flowed from his eyes. Kongzan walked up to her, squatted down slightly, and hugged her gently. Okay, you won't be alone anymore. Be my partner. Then let's go on adventures in the sea together. Kongzan's gentle yet somewhat tough voice came over. You 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 Since you said so dot then how can I refuse? Okay. Robin wiped away the tears. He changed his mind and agreed to Kongzan. This time dot she finally found a partner. The partner of her dreams. But she was afraid. Afraid of being caught by the government and affecting her partners. Robin. I understand. The world government just doesn't want to destroy O'Hara. Just let the truth of 800 years ago be exposed. What they did was indeed a bit outrageous. One day, we will also take revenge on them. Kongzan also said seriously. No. Don't. Robin choked and shook his head. I'm afraid. Of losing my partner. Her tone was trembling. But extremely serious. Dot. Dash, leave gentleness to your partners. Leave the devil to the enemy. Keep the past to yourself. This is, Robin. Chapter 16 Vector Operation. The next day, early morning, Kongzan lay on the lawn and took a deep breath, then stretched his body upwards and felt a comfortable pulling sensation in his muscles. Yamato was waving a mace at the side, 
sweat streaming down her cheeks, but she had to work hard if she wanted to surpass Eden. Robin was reading a book on the seat under the mast. Sure enough, the habit of reading has been developed since childhood. If I remember correctly, she got up at six in the morning. After washing, she went to the ship's library to see what books she liked. As for Mikasa, she is now receiving cooking lessons from Zero in the kitchen. Nowadays, the crew usually takes turns cooking. In fact, the kitchen is all high-tech, so cooking is not difficult. It is very simple to follow Xiaoling's step-by-step -step instructions. Yari is next to Kuzin. She holds the shamisen and rests it on her right thigh. She presses the strings with her left hand and plays with a plectrum with her right hand. Playing a piece, this piece has been Yari's favorite piece since childhood, called Tsukai Haim. Yari, you played Tsukai Haim very well. Kong Zan praised. On the side, Yari's cheeks couldn't help but turn red. As long as brother Kong Zan likes it. Yari said, but her smug smile gave her away. A girl, as long as you praise it, you will be happy in your heart. Then she continued to play. But, in this case, there is still a lack of a singer. Forget it, let's talk about it later. By the way, today's sky is very blue. Next dot where should we go for fun? Kong Zan began to think about it. His ship is still on this unnamed island. I've decided. Go to Windmill Village. Kong Zan sat up. Although Luffy wasn't born yet, he still wanted to see this place. Just finished. Xiao Ling appeared next to Kong Zan. Locate the East China Sea. Windmill Village. Location successful. Whether to enable navigation. Xiao Ling finished his words. Yes. Kong Zan said naturally. Then. The ship also set off quickly. This time it starts normally. Airplane mode is not turned on. But it doesn't matter. As long as it can reach the destination, it will be slower if there is no flight mode. By the way, Robin came on board yesterday. Are there any rewards? Kong Zan thought. Open the system. After all. I really didn't check the system yesterday. Ding. Completed the mission to find crew members three tenths. Received reward. No side effects vector operation LV5. The system said. I know. Uncle Fang's ability is here. Kong Zan said that this is very strong. If he were himself now, he might not be able to beat Kaido. But he still needs to settle down. Ding. Release the third main mission. Mission. Prevent Hancock from being abducted to the Draco. The system came again. Kong Zan was quite excited at first but he didn't expect it to be such a troublesome task. Doesn't this mean he has to go against the Tanlong people? Brother's leisure life. Forget it, let's talk about it after going to Windmill Village. Kong Zan Zan sighed, and if nothing unexpected happens, it will be at least half a year since Hancock was kidnapped. Kong Zan has actually been counting the time in this world. Every time he asks their age, he is also confirming the time. If nothing unexpected happens, now Hancock is only 11 years old. In the original book, she remembers well that she was kidnapped by human traffickers when she was 12 years old. Four years later, when she was 16 years old, she was liberated by the fisherman Fisher Tiger and returned to Daughter Island with the help of Rayleigh and the others. And then two years later, he took over as emperor at about the age of 18. Kong Zan thought about it briefly, and then ignored it. At that time, just use the navigation system to search for Hancock's coordinates, and the location will be basically clear. Kong Zan after I had some free time, I went to check the group chat again. Kan Ki Ken, by the way. To Shine Hong Hong hasn't spoken recently. Butterfly Ninja, maybe she's busy. Buja Maseko, I haven't seen her since I came in. Yes, Red Eyes, me too. Kan Ki Ken, we don't know, and we don't dare to ask. Kong Zan, don't worry about others for now, you should take care of yourselves, don't suddenly die one day. Kan Ki Ken, brother Kong Zan, I'm a little panicked by what you said. I won't be beaten by anyone in the future. Buja Maseko, ah, that's not the case, right? The world of you and I should be in a period of peace. Kong Zan. At Buzumaseko there will be an outbreak of zombies in your world, I'd be careful to be eaten, that's all. Buzushimaseko, a zombie outbreak? Question mark. Isn't that something from a science fiction movie? Question mark. Is there really such a thing? Question mark. Kan Ki Ken, what the hell is being eaten? Brother Kong Zin, no way, do I really know how to do it? Brother, you must save my brother. Kan Ki Ken was immediately confused. Damn, was eaten. Could it be eaten by some carnivorous species? But how could it be possible in the city? I don't understand. And Buzujima's echoes on the outbreak. Why do you say it as if it's a joke? I don't know if it's true or not. But Kan Ki Ken still feels. I would rather believe that it exists than that it doesn't exist. Kong Zan. All right. All right. I'll be here as soon as you call me. Although he can't explode yet. Zombies and ghouls whatever. It's just a casual beating. Kan Ki Ken. Then I'm relieved. Buzujima's echo. Zombies. If it's true. I really have to be prepared. Kendo Club. Buzujima who just finished practicing at this moment however, Seko was a little thoughtful. After all, she knew that Kong Zan had no reason to deceive her, so it was very likely to be true. In this case, she would have to find two real swords for self-defense recently. After all, school practice usually uses bamboo knives or wooden knives. Dot. Real swords are prohibited in school, but just in case. You still have to take the risk of being discovered by the school and put one here. Buzujima Seko thought about it. How to bring Atuki in without telling the school. Dot red eyes. 
Brother Kongzin, I didn't expect it to be exactly what you said. Area's mission will be carried out tomorrow night and I just received it today. Butterfly Ninja, sure enough, it's what Brother Kongzin said. Really? Can't he can? Ah, uh, will I really be eaten? Butamaseko, zombies. The apocalypse. Kong Zan, I didn't say you would be eaten, I just told you to be careful. Kong Zan, indeed. The apocalypse is fun, but you must keep in mind the three basic rules of the apocalypse. Butamaseko, the end of the world. The three laws? What is that? Kong Zan, first, don't trust anyone completely, stay vigilant and calm at all times, and don't run around in unfamiliar places. Kong Zan, second, be decisive in killing, refuse to be a virgin and don't do unprovoked behavior, and plan your time well. Kong Zan, third, do things in a low-key manner, don't expose your strength easily, learn to survive, learn to disguise, and learn to hide. Kong Zan, these three points summarize most of the laws of the last days. If something happens, I hope you can use it. If nothing happens, just pretend I didn't say anything. Kan Ki Ken, these are the three laws? Exclamation mark so awesome. Kong Zan, these can only be said to be the three most basic laws. Buja Maseko, that's enough, thank you. Brother Kong Zan, Kong Zan, small problem. Chapter 17 Night Attack Night, Kong Zan spoke to the people on the boat. The euphemistic name is, practicing in seclusion, and asked Mikasa to look at it for herself. He returned to the bedroom. Then he opened the private chat interface with the chat group assistant. Kong Zan, travel through the world of, red eyes. Chat group assistant, 100 points are required to decide whether to travel through time or not. Kong Zan colon yes. Immediately afterwards. He disappeared from this world in an instant. Dash, on a hill not far from the noble residence. The night attack team was resting and preparing for an attack at any time. Shitong, is this him you are talking about? The girl looked at the man with a samurai haircut in front of her with a strange expression. The girl has long pink hair, tied in twin ponytails, with pink eyes, and even the clothes she wears are a light pink dress. All in all, very pink. Well, she is brother Kong Zan. Kai Tong nodded cutely. Are you sure there's nothing wrong? Kai Tong, a 1.85 meter tall muscular man looked at Kong Zan. Then he confirmed with Chitong. After all, Chitong still had a relatively high status in Night Raid. This strong man also wears a strange airplane hairstyle. No problem. He is very strong, Chitong said expressionlessly, which also showed her seriousness. That's okay, young man. Welcome to this cooperation. The strong man with the head of the plane smiled slightly and stretched out his fist as he spoke. Ha ha ha, how generous. Kong Zan also extended his fist and bumped fists with Brand. Hey. Boy, then let's introduce ourselves. She has beautiful blonde hair, golden eyes, and a look that seems to have an unyielding temperament, and a pretty face that doesn't require makeup. This girl with a good figure stood up and introduced herself. Sister, I am Leon. The girl named Leon said first with her hands on her hips. I'm Brand, please take care of me. Brand pointed to himself with his thumb with a smile on his face. I'm Lubok. Green haired Lubok also introduced himself. HMPH. I'm Mai Yin. Although I don't know where you come from, since you are Kai Tong's friend, just don't hold me back. The pink-haired twin-tailed man who calls himself Ma Yin sounds like an old arrogant person. My name is Hill, Hill, who had long purple hair, glasses, a purple robe, and a natural look on his face, said. It looks very much like a big sister holding a close friend. I'm Red Pupils. The beautiful girl with long straight black hair has Red Pupils as her name suggests. Chitong, I know you. Although others also knew you. Kong Zan muttered to himself silently. And then continued. Hello everyone, my name is Kong Zan. This time I will cooperate with Yi Zai a little bit. Kong Zan said with a smile and patted Ma Yin on the head. Dot. What are you doing? The arrogant Ma Yin instantly turned red with anger. Is it just cooperation? Brand frowned and asked. Indeed, it's rare to just cooperate. Young man, what if you don't join the night attack and betray our intelligence? Len Ai's eyes gradually became sharper. Leon, Brand, don't worry. He won't. Kai Tong blocked the two people's gaze towards Kong Zan and then spoke. It seems that he is full of confidence. Oops, little Chitong is better, Kong Zan said and turned around from behind Chitong. He rested his chin on her shoulder and rubbed her cheek with a smile. For some reason, Chitong's face turned slightly red when she felt the warm body temperature on her cheeks and turned her head away. Ahem, Chitong won't be yours. Len I looked at the two of them in surprise. Oh, looking at the intimate movements of the two, Brand seemed to understand something. Wow, Kai Tong actually has. Before Lubok could finish speaking, he was punched by Kai Tong. No. He is just my eldest brother. Kai Tong was said to be a little embarrassed and angry. He took action accidentally. You 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 are you you are. Big brother is just the big brother. Why are you beating me? Lubok was about to cry without tears. And at this moment, Kong Zan had already walked forward and looked at the noble mansion not far away. When does it start? To be honest, I can do it alone. Kong Zan turned his back to several people. Huh? Although he is Chitong's eldest brother, he is too self-righteous. 
right? Ma Yin pointed at Kong Zan with some displeasure. Mainly because I felt uncomfortable having my head touched just now. Such words also made Brand solemn. He felt that this boy was indeed very strong. But just by looking at him, you don't know how strong he is. Kong Zan was wearing a crimson kimono, a white coat, and a long sword hanging on his waist. At this moment, I feel like a prodigal. So, when are you leaving? Kong Zan turned his head slightly and asked. Since you're so anxious, let's do it now. La Buk also sighed. He actually had no motivation. After all, someone was going to die again. Okay, then I'll go to the warehouse and wait for you. After Kong Zan finished speaking, he disappeared directly. Hey, hey, is he leaving on his own? Lubbock was speechless. Okay, let's get started. Lenai's face was full of excitement. Dash, warehouse, is there a lock? That's right. How can a place like this not be locked? Kong Zan touched his chin, standing in front of the warehouse door. Place your hands forward. There was a sound of boom. The door immediately broke open. What came into view was Seiyu's naked body, her hands still hanging by ropes. There were many hanging corpses of various kinds around. Looking down, there were many people in the cage on the first floor, but most of them were dead. With so many people, there were probably hundreds of corpses. They were all used by nobles for experiments. It is worthy of the darkness of the empire. He must not have been dead for long. Kong Zan walked forward and touched his chin, looking at Shei's scarred body and feeling regretful. Her hair is very shiny and even though her body is covered with wounds, it can still be seen that her original skin is very fair. But I should be able to resurrect her. You dot what are you going to do to say you? In the cell next to him, Ayaz walked forward tremblingly, holding the iron rod with both hands and looking at Kong Zan. Resurrection her. Kong Zan turned his back on Yiyaz and then spoke. What? Ayaz suspected that he heard wrongly. Then Kong Zan put his hand in the middle of Shu's body. There was a flash of red light. Kong Zan used special high-level resurrection magic on it. Nirvana rebirth. The red magic power swept through Seiyu's body instantly like fire. As long as the area swept by this magic power will be completely healed, it will completely become its original appearance. But this magic, as its name suggests, will lead to Nirvana and rebirth after resurrection, but the flames will burn away all the memories from the soul, leaving only the name of the person who cast the magic. Because it was he who gave her new life. Kong Zan drew his sword and cut off the rope instantly, sheathing her sword. She caught Seiyu in an instant. You dot what on earth did you do to Shei? Yi -E looked at Kong Zan with his eyes fixed on her. Nothing. Look, she woke up soon. Kong Zan said. Seiyu had opened her eyes in a daze. Are you, Lord God? She looked at Kong Zan and murmured. For her, Kong Zan is her god. Shei, Shei. You are really awake. Ayaz's eyes widened. He looked like he couldn't believe it. Oh my god, I'm still a little short of it. People always say that to me. I'll be embarrassed. Just call me brother Kong Zan. Kong Zan smiled slightly. He took off his white coat and put it on Shu. Kong Zan. Brother. Shu looked at Kong Zan and walked out of his arms. Then he half knelt down in front of Kong Zan. Thank you, Brother Kong Zan, for giving me a new life. You will be my master from now on. She lowered her head and spoke with great respect. Chapter 18 Dog Barking. You. Dot, what are you going to say, Shay? Do you still remember me? I am Yi -E Ars. Yi -E Ars looked at Shay with something wrong. Because at this moment, Shu seemed to be completely ignoring him. Something was wrong, very wrong. How can this be? To be honest, you're a little noisy. Kong Zan glanced at him, feeling a little unhappy. God. Brother Kong Zan, do you need me to kill him? Shu paused for a moment, and then spoke calmly. Hey, Seiyu, what are you talking about? I'm Ayaz. Ayaz sat down on the ground and looked at Seiyu opposite him stupidly. Both eyes couldn't believe it. No need. Kong Zan said casually. After all, he would die soon. But at this moment, there seemed to be a guard and a girl with shoulder-length blonde curly hair outside the door. Oh. Isn't this a perverted noble lady? Kong Zan touched his chin. Hey, who are you? The guard pointed the gun in his hand at Kong Zan. When Shu saw this, she immediately stood in front of Kong Zan. Impossible. She. Isn't she dead? said the blonde noble lady. Arya looked at Seiyu in disbelief. How can it be? She was obviously tortured to death by her own hands. It doesn't have to be like this. Kong Zan saw Shu standing in front of him. So he patted her shoulder gently, walked up to her, and saw a piece of white skin on her middle was condensed in the air. He immediately buttoned up the white clothes for her. At this moment, she looked at Kong Zan's serious expression, her face gradually turned rosy, and she seemed to be in a state of insanity. After adjusting her clothes a little, Kong Zan turned around again. He looked at the guard and walked forward. Hey, don't come over here, or I'll shoot. The guard looked at Kong Zan, but Kong Zan didn't pause at all. Still walking straight forward, seeing this, the guard no longer hesitated. Gunfire rang out. Several bullets hit Kong Zan. Kong Zan stretched out his hand slightly. Wah. The bullets all turned toward the guard. Ah, 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 the guard screamed. His eyes widened and his pupils shrank sharply. Blood flowed from the holes in his body. His face was full of panic. Immediately afterwards, he fell down without even closing his eyes. He doesn't understand. Why do bullets fly back? As expected of Brother Kong Zin. At this time, Kai Tong, who emerged from the woods, praised. Oops, 
What kind of tegu is it? It actually blocked the bullet and bounced it back. Then I followed Chitong and walked out. Have you solved it too? It was pretty quick. Kong Zan smiled. Then he looked at Aria. Then I will take this noble lady away. Kong Zan said, and then looked at Aria. This look made Aria take a step back in fear. Huh? But she is the target. Then I said immediately. It's okay. I talked to the boss. Kai Tong looked at Lenai, expressing his relief. Although this guy has a bad heart, it will be no problem if he has this. Kong Zan said and picked up the slavery chain, appearing directly in front of Aria without saying anything. What is this? I don't want to bring this kind of thing. You bunch of domestic animals from the countryside. Aria quickly pushed Kong Zan, her eyes full of anger. TSK, it's not up to you. Kong Zan directly forced it on her. After all, what kind of strength can such a noble lady have? Moment. She stopped moving. What's going on dot body? Aria suddenly found that she couldn't move her body. It should be said that she couldn't control it. Oh my, this thing works very well. Come on and let me bark like a dog. Kong Zan looked at her with great interest at this moment. Woof, woof woof. Aria learned without saying a word. His cheeks were stained red with shame and anger. Her body began to bark uncontrollably, but her consciousness was still there. Now, let's see who is the domestic animal. Kong Zan looked at Aria in front of him teasingly. As he spoke, he patted her cheek and they made a soft papa sound. Killing her would really give her an advantage. After all, this world is just reincarnation after death. What is the need for such people to reincarnate? It's better to take him back and serve as a slave. PFFT, boy. You are quite interesting. Then I ran over. Look at Aria who is imitating the barking of a dog. He couldn't help but poke her cheek with his hand. But she still didn't fight back. It's like being controlled. And that's indeed the case. Hey, by the way, have you seen a brown haired boy? Kong Zan asked, turning to Lenai. Oh. That boy. Do you know him? Although I don't know why he is here, I just saw him running over. I happened to be behind him, so I secretly knocked him out and left him in the woods behind. After all, I was afraid it affects your performance here. I didn't expect you to be so strong. Lenai nodded with surprise. At this moment, Lenai has not seen Tazmi and Kai Tong fight, so he has not shown his love for talents and wants to take Tazmi under his command. This butterfly effect. Forget it, Shay. Come here, Kong Zan said and waved to Shay. Seeing this, she also came over. Let her join the night attack, Kong Zan said with a smile. Huh? Lenai was a little confused, and then asked, She is. Well, she is one of the people who was abused by this guy, Kong Zan said and pointed at Aria. How is it going? Her swordsmanship is also pretty good. If you give Chitong some guidance, she should be pretty good, Kong Zan said. After all, although his memory has been erased, he does not have erasure skills. He has practiced swordsmanship with Tazmi and Aya since he was a child, so his swordsmanship should not be too bad. He just happened to replace Tazmi, and he was still one of his own. It should be no problem. Since it was recommended by Brother Kong Zan, I'll just go back and tell the boss. Kai Tong nodded cutely. Shay, how are you? Kong Zan looked at her and said with a smile, no problem. She nodded naturally. This is for you, protect yourself. After Kong Zan finished speaking, he gave his sword to Shu. Shay was stunned. Thank you God. Brother Kong Zan. After saying that, he knelt down halfway. Kong Zan stopped him quickly. Get up. As for that, Kong Zan waved his hand helplessly. Then, in everyone's blind spot, when Kong Zan helped her up, he handed her a small glass ball. He whispered softly in her ear, get back in touch. Xiu instantly understood what Kong Zan meant. He grabbed the small glass ball with lightning speed. As for this glass ball, it is something that can connect across dimensions. It cost Kong Zan 50 points to get two glass balls each. As long as one of them concentrates on it, the other will vibrate. By concentrating their thoughts together, the two of them can have an internal conversation. Okay, stop barking. Kong Zan ordered Aria, who was still barking. Then she shut up immediately. Then I'll take this puppy with me. I happen to be short of handyman on the ship. He said and put Aria under his arm. Aria could only be trapped limply unable to move her whole body. And she couldn't speak unless Kong Zan asked her to speak. Otherwise, you can only think about being angry or something like that. For example, she is thinking right now. You actually asked me to learn how to bark like a dog, and even asked me to work as a handyman. I am a noble lady. Damn it, this bastard country bumpkin. Ugh, sooner or later one day I will kill you with a thousand knives. Dot. I was very crazy inside. It doesn't matter, just let her think about it. After all, let alone the dog barking now. Even if Kong Zan asked her to lick his feet, she must do it. Died? That's really cheap. I like education as a hard nut. You know, he still has nine such chains of slavery. Brother Kong Zin, see you next time. Shit Ong also smiled slightly. Young man, see you next time. Len I also waved his hand. As for others, they are probably finishing their work. Kong Zan stopped saying hello. Just left. Chapter 19 The Aristocratic Lady Doing Odd Jobs Ever since, Kong Zan also arrived on the boat. But it was still dark so everyone was probably asleep. It seems that the system did not prompt for new crew rewards. But still, she is just a handyman, not an official crew member. That's all. Kong Zan carried Aria towards the room. At this time, 
I happened to see Mikasa still in the aquarium next to the men's bedroom. So Kongzan walked in. Huh? Mikasa, why are you still here? Kongzan looked at Mikasa, a little confused. Brother Kongzan. Eh? Did you bring this person from Sister Chitong's world? Mikasa looked at Harry curiously. A perverted aristocratic lady with psychological problems. She likes to trick people from the countryside into returning home, torture them, and conduct experiments. I caught them and brought them back to work as a handyman. Kongzan said directly. After all, he didn't bother to cover up. At the same time, he sat next to Mikasa and then placed Harry on the seat next to him. Hey, do you do some odd jobs, psychopath? Mikasa looked at Harry with a scared expression. I feel like this person is a bit dangerous. Don't worry, she is locked by my collar. Only I can unlock it. After being locked by the slave chain, she can only obey my orders. Kong Zan said with an indifferent expression. You haven't told me yet, why aren't you sleeping yet? How can a child stay up so late? Kong Zan said and pinched her cheek. Well, family. We are family. I will worry about you. Mikasa's face turned red and she looked at Kong Zan seriously. That's it. Thank you for worrying. Kong Zan rubbed her head. Mikasa is so cute. I feel like I'm about to become cute. Xiaoling. Take Heria to take a bath and wash up first, and then take her to the girl's bedroom to find a place to sleep. Remember to lower your light and make your voice lower when you enter their room. Kong Zan suddenly spoke at this moment. After all, the light ball Xiaoling is really bright, so I'm afraid it will affect their sleep. Yes, Xiaoling suddenly appeared at this moment and responded to Kong Zan. Area, go quickly. Kong Zan glanced at Area and ordered casually. Then Area stood up expressionlessly and followed Zero to take a shower. Mainly because she doesn't know the way. Let Xiaoling lead her. She doesn't need to know her anymore. It was impossible to ask her to take a shower directly, and she didn't know where to go. Maybe just jump into the sea and wash it. At this moment, only Kong Zan and Mikasa were left in the aquarium. By the way, you guys have caught a lot of fish recently. Kong Zan looked at the fish in the large fish tank in the aquarium. Really a lot. There are schools of fish. Hee <laughs> hee, look at that golden fish. I caught it, Mikasa said, pointing to a fish that looked like a golden carp. After all, there are many kinds of fish here and Kong Zan doesn't know what kind of fish it is. It looks more like a golden carp. Oh, oh, oh. Mikasa is great. This fish is very beautiful. Kong Zan nodded in praise. Brother Kong Zan, I like it so much here. The Endless Sea. There are also various islands. You can go to many fun places in the future, just like traveling around the world. It's great to be a pirate. Ah, Mikasa looked at the fish expectantly. She seemed to be looking at fish and it seemed as if she was looking at the stars and sea in the future. Ha ha ha, pirates are not bound by rules and can take risks freely. This is the true, free pirate, Kong Zan said with an even more impressed expression. In the past, when I stayed at home and watched One Piece, why don't you want to come to this world? I didn't expect that I would actually have this opportunity. Free pirate, Mikasa murmured these words, and her eyes were full of light at this moment. Okay, Mikasa. It's time for me to go to sleep. It's time for you to go up. Kong Zan rubbed her little head. Well, then I'll go up. Mikasa also nodded lightly. Over the past few days, she has completely regarded Kong Zan as family. I quickly became familiar with life here. Seeing Mikasa walking up, Kong Zan also stretched lazily. He would wash up later and then go to bed. Dash, the country of Wano, Ghost Island. Jin, you're back. My son was abducted. Oh. <laughs> Ukaido said, Jin, you must help me find her. You 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 this is the legendary dot crying after drinking. What? Anijisama actually. I understand. Mr. Kaido. I will send people to search the sea. Jin also nodded. Unexpectedly, just after returning from the mission, I would have to go to work again. I really can't take any time off. And that stupid son who wants to be at an Eden every day. You 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 why is my life so miserable? Kaido cried loudly. The legendary four emperors also started to emo. I often cry when I look at it. The pressure on middle-aged people is really great. Dash. The next day, as soon as Kong Zan got up, he noticed that the dimensional communication glass ball was vibrating. Aha, it's so early in the morning, what are you doing? Shay, Kong Zan yawned and took out the glass ball with sleepy eyes. Then focus your thoughts on it slightly. At this time, the two people's consciousness seemed to be in another space. Shay, what's wrong? Kong Zan asked. Brother Kong Zan, I just want to ask if there is any mission. Is it not disturbing you? After all, you asked me to come here. I don't know if there is any purpose. I was thinking that you contacted me. The method should be to ask me to come back and ask you. Shu's tone was very nervous. Ha ha, indeed. I want to find you later, but you might as well find it first. As for the mission, Yes, in the not too distant future, when Hill and Man go on a mission, Hill he will die. When the time comes. Protect Hill. If you can't defeat him, just call me. Kong Zan said directly. I understand. The future. I heard what Kong Zan said. She believed that Kong Zan was a god even more. Also, 
How is your strength now? Kong Zan asked. My swordsmanship is not bad, Shitong said. I am very talented. Xu felt good about herself. Then if you work hard, your recovery power should be much faster than that of ordinary people now, as well as your body functions and so on. After all, the special ninth level magic used to resurrect you at that time, Nirvana Rebirth. After Rebirth, the immortal fire will always exist in your body to help you repair your body. As long as you are not shot in the head, you will not die so easily, and it will be easy to regenerate a broken limb. Kong Zan said. Indeed. I also felt the essence of flame power in my body. Is it actually called the immortal fire? Thank you God for the gift, Shu said seriously. I said, just call me brother Kong Zan. Kong Zan sighed helplessly. But, it feels too random. You gave me this life which is equivalent to being my creator. Xu expressed her inner feelings. Maybe it was because of the magic of Nirvana and rebirth that left her name in her soul. This resulted in her having spiritual respect for Kong Zan. Kong Zan is her god, the god engraved on her soul. Chapter 20 I'm too talkative. Is it too casual? Then just call me Mr. Kong Zan. Isn't this not casual? Kong Zan sighed. I thought of a more serious name. Kong Zan. Sir, I think it's okay. Thank you, Mr. Kong Zan, for your gift to me. If there is anything I can do to help you in the future, I will definitely do it. Shu's tone was solemn and serious. And respect. I can tell to her. Kong Zan estimated that if she encountered any harm, she would use her own body to bear it. After all, it has happened once before. When say you was reborn. But this magic is really useful. If you don't use it, you still don't know that such a good thing exists. Among the 718 kinds of magic in the Bone King, there are still resurrection magics, and there are more than one. When I thought of saving Seiyu, I only thought about what kind of magic could resurrect people. I had never thought about it carefully before. And the Nirvana rebirth used by Kong Zan seems to be a Krypton gold magic, and it's quite special. It is a permanent strengthening magic. After rebirth, it increases super high basic attributes, talents in various aspects, and extremely high recovery power. It is really amazing, just like a pheasant reborn from Nirvana and becomes a phoenix. Get stronger. Also, be careful of that green-haired peeper from Lubbock when you take a shower. If it doesn't work, just kill him. Just listen to me, Kong Zan said directly. After all, Lubok said that he liked Neji Ixiton, but actually he peeped at Lenai taking a bath. This man had no bottom, and he couldn't let him take advantage of him. If there is a problem, just click. You must click. Anyway, it's just reincarnation and living another life. It's not a big deal. Nothing wrong. Yes, I understand. Lord Kong Zan, I heard Lord Kong Zan caring about me. Do not know why. She was still a little happy. Okay. I don't know how long we can keep talking. Next time you have something to talk to me about. Kong Zan said to Shu. Okay, came Shu's brisk tone. Kong Zan had already put away the glass ball. There won't be any problem after all. Dash, Aria was doing odd jobs at this time. Kong Zan asked Xiao Ling to create a clone to teach her. After all, an aristocratic young lady who lived a life without worries about food and clothing would not be able to do anything as a handyman. As a handyman, she is actually very relaxed. After all, there is no need to clean the boat. Xiao Ling can clean the hull himself and Xiao Ling can do the laundry and dishes. She only needs to cook, tidy various rooms, give massages to the crew, help out if there is anything, and do whatever the crew asks her to do. But everyone is still very knowledgeable, and they won't let her doing outrageous things. After an unknown amount of time, Aria had finished her work and walked outside the cabin. At this moment, Aria stood aside with her hands on her lower abdomen. It really smells like a waiter. The only difference is that her face is expressionless. Aria, come here and give me a shoulder squeeze. Kong Zan who was lying on the armchair, looked at Aria not far away and spoke to him. Yes, Aria responded like a machine, and then walked over. She walked behind Kong Zan. Two white and tender little hands were placed on Kong Zan's shoulders and started to knead him. Yeah, harder. Yes, this strength is good, Kong Zan said, narrowing his eyes with a happy expression on his face. At this moment, Kong Zan opened the group chat happily. Bushima Seko, I don't know when the zombie crisis will break out. I'm basically ready now and have enough food. Kanki Ken, bring your own self-defense knife. I don't know who will eat me, butterfly ninja, it feels quite dangerous no matter what. Shouldn't my world be more dangerous? Will I be gone in the future at Kong Zan big brother? Kong Zan, it will definitely disappear unless you become a god. Butterfly ninja, I dot will I be killed by someone? Butterfly nin still couldn't hold back his curiosity and asked. Kong Zan, well, the second string. If you encounter her, tell me, otherwise in the future, your sister will die and you will die for revenge. Kong Zan, that's all. Butterfly ninja. It turned out to be dot the upper string dot or the second string? Is brother Kong Zan confident of defeating him? The butterfly ninja suddenly felt a little scared. They didn't expect that they were going to face the second string, no wonder they would die. When Kong Zan saw butterfly ninja's words, he couldn't help but twitching his eyes. He felt that the butterfly ninja looked down on him a little. Or maybe the fear brought to her by ghosts is too great. Kong Zan, if you think I'm not sure, then just watch your sister being raped. Butterfly ninja, I'm sorry, 
brother Kongzun can definitely beat me. The butterfly ninja quickly apologized. After all, they were called immortals and could see their future. If you can't beat it dot then there's really nothing you can do. Butterfly ninja, can't we avoid it in other ways? Kongzun, it's best not to. Otherwise the future will be so confusing that I can't even understand it. Kongzan advised. They're afraid that something will happen if they mess around on their own. If he followed the original plot, he would still be a little unsure. Butterfly Ninja, okay. Then I'll leave it to Brother Kongzan. Can Ki Ken, that man-eating thing. Please leave it to Brother Kongzan. Butamaseko, Brother Kongzan. If the end comes, do I still have a solution here? Kongzan, I don't know. I know less about you. I don't even know what causes zombies to appear. Kongzan spoke helplessly. After all, the author is dead. The original work has been updated, and it's unclear what happened. Anything could happen. Kanki Ken, you might eat me. What is it? Kanki Ken didn't understand. Could it be that a tiger had entered the city? Crunch yourself? Kongzan, that is a special kind of dot ghoul. Looks like humans, but eats people. Kongzan, so, be careful. Come on. Kongzan said, I am optimistic about you. However, if one day he is really attacked by Kamishiro Ryo, it seems that it would be a good idea to use the enslavement chain to capture Kamishiro Ryo and play with him. Kongzan silently made his calculations. After all, although he is a ghoul, he is also a big sister who does not poke. Kanki Ken, what? Is he actually a ghoul? Question mark. Kanki Ken has indeed heard of this kind of guy, and he also specializes in cannibalism. What's been on the news lately? Ghoul predation incidents, there have been a lot more recently. Ahem, we don't know which ghoul has such a big appetite. Kongzan. It's not a big problem. Kanki Ken, Kanki Ken said, after meeting a ghoul, will I really lose my temper? He is just an ordinary person with no strength. Hinata Hinata, well dot brother Kongzun dot what will happen to me in the future? Hinata Hinata felt a little shy, but her curiosity still prevailed, so she just took a break and asked. Kongzan was also a little surprised. Unexpectedly, this little kid also wanted to know the future. Hey, there's so much trouble once it's revealed that you know the future. I should have known better. Kongzan felt very regretful at this moment. But I still typed it out silently. Dash. Chapter 21 Kanki Kans Yi. Kongzan, your world. Just be yourself. If you are in danger, call me. By the way, how old are you Hinata? Kongzan asked. He didn't know what stage Hinata was in now. Hinata Hinata, me? Three years old. Kanki Ken, exclamation mark. Bushimaseko, exclamation mark. Butterfly Ninja, exclamation mark. Kongzan, so small. Kongzan, if you are bullied, tell us, and we will definitely help you teach them a lesson. Butterfly Ninja, Sister Hinata. Let your sister help you teach them a lesson. Hinata Hinata, hey dot is that okay? But, Bushima Seko, if it's a mission, I can go there, but I don't have many points, and it's too expensive to buy time travel in the points mall. Hinata Hinata, thank you. Thank you. Hinata Hinata was sitting in the yard. Her fair little face flushed. She was often bullied since she was a child. I was also discriminated against for having white A's. Call her a monster with white eyes. And at this moment, she didn't know why, but she felt at ease with the group members. Kongzan, nothing, at chat group assistant. If Hinata is bullied, she must release a task. Chat group assistant, if a group member is bullied, she must release a task. Kanki Ken, wow, the chat group assistant is so smart. Butterfly Ninja, I didn't expect that Hinata's sister is only three years old. She is so small. Hayuga Hinata, well. My father asked me to practice my homework. Let's talk next time, then. Hinata Hinata is offline, and the children of the big family are busy. Kanki Ken, doing homework at the age of three. So busy, silently thinking about myself as a three year old still playing in the mud. Kongzan, how about at Shea? At this moment, Chitong was sitting on a wooden bench, roasting an abira bird, which was a huge and dangerous species of bird, and sitting next to her was Seiyu. When she saw someone named Date herself, she opened the chat group and then looked at Seiyu with a cute look next to her, who was eating roasted abira bird, Chitong, she is very nice and is having barbecue with me, brother Kongzan, are you together, Kongzan, it used to be 100 points, can you help me pay, Kongzan expressed that he wanted to cry but had no tears, was it because I didn't want to go, I'm really running out of money, now I estimate that I only have more than 100 points, it cost 100 points to bring area back, 200 points to travel back and forth myself, and the dimensional communication glass ball, it went bankrupt, Chitong, I don't have many points. I only get 150 points by signing in every day for half a month. Signing in once is basically around 10 points. There will be fluctuations, but not big. Kongzan, by the way, how is Shea's swordsmanship? Red eyes, the talent is very good and quite suitable, as long as she doesn't die. Kongzan, if you have any questions, call me and I will protect you. Red eyes, ah, uh, but I'm usually fine, so I should be more worried about her. Kongzan said that she was worthy of being the heroine who survived to the finale. She was so confident. Aha. Uh -huh. 
He stretched out while sitting on the armchair. Then he raised his head and looked at Aria behind him. How does it feel to allow you to speak? Kong Zan just looked at her. You, how dare you do this to me? I'm sure, Aria said loudly and viciously. Shut up. It looks like you still need training. Before Aria could even finish her words, Kong Zan told her to shut up. But this sound affected the fishing trio next to them. Mikasa, Yeri and Yamato. What's wrong with her? Yeri walked over first and looked at Aria. It's nothing. This guy's life is too good. Aria, look at Yeri. She is also a princess of the same country, how well behaved she is, Kong Zan said as he stood up and touched Yeri's head, and then looked at Aelia, started with a typical look at other people's kids, okay, I'll take her in for ideological education, this person has ideological problems, Kong Zan said and waved his hand, indicating that they should continue fishing, then he turned around and picked up Aria, without saying a word, he walked directly to the cabin, after walking to his room. He threw it directly on the bed. I allow you to speak and to move freely. What are you dissatisfied with, poor noble lady? Kong Zan crossed his arms and looked at Aria. Dot. Aria slowly pushed her body up, then she turned to look at Kong Zan. You. She was about to say something when she saw Kong Zan's emotionless eyes. If she said the wrong thing, she would definitely die. Thinking of this, she suddenly broke into a cold sweat. You dot let me go back, and I can give you a lot of money. After hesitating, Aria said this nervously, hi ha, Kong Zan walked forward and directly pressed Aria under him, the body that was originally propped up was pushed down on the bed again by Kong Zan, he was only centimeters away from her cheek, Kong Zan put his hands on both sides of her little head, do you think you can still escape, isn't that too naive, Kong Zan stretched out a hand and pinched the side of her head with his thumb and index finger, the chin is slightly raised, then dot you dot how can you let me go, feeling the warm breath of the man in front of her and the handsome face in front of her, Aria's face turned slightly red and her head turned to the side. It's impossible to let you go, but if you perform well, you may be able to become an official crew member, Kong Zan said bluntly. But Aria was thinking about it. Are you a formal crew member? Maybe you can leave this place if you become. But my father and mother were killed in a night attack. Where should I go? And I don't know where this place is, and it disappeared all of a sudden. He's obviously just a country boy. But he dares to treat me like this. It's really too much. But what can she do? At this moment, she was a little helpless. Okay, think about it, then shut up and do what you should do. Kong Zan stood up, gave the order, and walked out. He didn't want to talk to this guy anymore. Anyway, if it's chained, there won't be any problems. Aria's body also stood up, and she went to do what she should do. But I was thinking all the time in my head. What should I do? She is no longer the noble lady she used to be. She could no longer continue her torturous hobbies. Do we have no choice but to obey dot his words? Other than this dot is there any choice? She does not know. At least I can't think of any other options right now. Dash, in a bedroom. Kanki Ken lay on the bed covering his face. Ghoul. How annoying. How could there be such a thing? Hey. Forget it. Let's go to a coffee shop with Ying in two days. Kanki Ken has been on guard at all times because he is afraid of being eaten recently around, I'm always on edge, it's really unbearable, it's better to go to the coffee shop and sit down, and maybe he can see her too. In Khan Ki Ken's mind, suddenly, a super beauty with beautiful long purple hair and half-rimmed glasses appeared, think of her appearance, Jin Muan accidentally fell into delusion, commonly known as Yi, you know what I mean, chapter 22 Windmill Village, after several days of calm sailing, looking at the endless sea, Kong Zan said it was too slow, turn on airplane mode directly, after a few more days, we finally reached the East China Sea, been on the boat for over a week, if it weren't for the unlimited food resources in the ship, it would really be unbearable, although it doesn't matter to Kong Zan whether he eats it or not, but children definitely need to eat, huh, brother Kong Zin, we are almost arriving at Windmill Village. Yamato stood on the bow of the boat. While looking at the map projected by Xiaoling, he looked at the island not far away. There is expectation in his eyes. Windmill Village is just a small village in the territory of Goa Kingdom. At this moment, Kong Zan also walked to Yamato. I lost it. It couldn't be such a coincidence, right? Kong Zanya frowned. He saw a navy warship. But there is basically only one possibility for a warship to appear on this island. This guy Gup is actually here. It's really the wrong time to come. Kong Zan curled his lips. But he didn't care. He really may not be able to defeat Gup. Let's land. Kong Zan said to Xiao Ling. Although there is still some distance to go. It is almost the landing just in time to reach the port. Yes. Then the ship fell. Makino. Look at the sky. A girl said to Maginot. The girl had long black hair. Wow. That ship is flying in the sky. It's so amazing. Makino looked at the ship in the sky with bright A's. Maginot, who had dark green hair, had never seen a ship flying in the sky and was very curious. At this moment, this move also attracted many residents of the port. But at this time, he hasn't changed the pirate flag yet. The navy has no reason to arrest them. It doesn't matter. No, I have a Robin with a bounty of 79 million. Kong Zan looked at Robin beside him. I didn't know where I took out a mask. This mask was that of a cute little black cat. Kong Zan walked up to Robin. At this time, 
Robin was still reading a novel. He looked at Kong Zan with doubtful eyes. Robin, put this on. There is a navy on the island. There is a reward for you. Be careful of being discovered by the navy. Be careful, Kong Zan said to him. His tone was very gentle. Hi Dob Navy. I understand, brother Kong Zan. She took the black cat mask and brought it up. So good. Seeing Robin's well-behaved look, Kong Zan couldn't help but rub her head. I like such a cute and obedient little guy. After a while, I tidied up a little and planned to go ashore. Coming ashore, if you want to go out for a walk, let's go together. Kong Zan said to the women. Okay, we can finally go out. Yari jumped up happily. After all, we have been on the boat for several days, and it is really far from the West China Sea to the East China Sea. Hey, long live brother Kong Zan. Yamato also came over with excitement on his face and cheered directly. Mikasa followed behind him. Area, come with me. Kong Zan stretched. Talk to her. Yes. Area nodded and followed. Xiaoling protect my ship. Kong Zan called out Xiao Ling, and this white ball of light also responded to the call. Appeared next to Kong Zan. After all, as long as you are in or near the ship, the light ball is always available. No problem, master. The voice came from inside the white light ball. Okay, let's go. Got off the boat. Everyone in Windmill Village watched Kong Zan and the others walk out at the port. So many people. Is there too much movement? Kong Zan scratched his head, feeling a little troubled. Being too conspicuous may attract the attention of the navy. Never mind. Anyway, I may not be able to defeat Garp now. After all, if you just throw away a ninth level magic heart master, you can kill Kapuga. This is instant death magic. After all, he has the power of the Bone King and is now a necromancer. At this moment, Kong Zan seemed to see a somewhat familiar guy, although it is still very young. But I shouldn't admit my mistake. He walked straight forward. Walked up to a girl with green hair. Squat down slightly. Are you Dot Makino? Kong Zan looked at her and asked, Huh? You Dot how do you know my name? Maginot covered her mouth. Her eyes widened and she was a little surprised, big brother, so awesome, then do you know who I am, the black haired girl next to Maginot asked curiously, ha ha, then I really don't know, Kong Zan smiled awkwardly, after all, it seems that this guy has never been seen in the original work, big brother, my name is Sana, you can call me Xiona, but, why do you know Maginot, Sana looked weird, secret, Kong Zan chuckled and rubbed the two women's heads, is there anything interesting in your windmill village, Kong Zan asked, after all, it was his first time here, ah, there is a bar in our village. It was opened by Maginot herself. Maginot is now financially independent at the age of 13. I'm so envious. Sana looked at Ma with envy. Kino, it's nothing. The main reason is that the village chief said that the village needs this bar, and I don't have a job, so I just tried to run it. Besides, the village chief and the people in the village are helping. I still have there is a lot to learn. Maginot shook his head. She was embarrassed by Sana's words. In fact, the decoration and construction costs of the store were borrowed from the village chief and they will have to be repaid in the future. But, we are all children here, so it's better not to drink. Kong Zan looked at his crew behind him. Those are a bunch of little brats. A look of helplessness. It's okay, I still have juice in my store. I just came out to get some fresh air. I didn't expect that I just saw you guys coming. It's really amazing. It's the first time I saw a ship descending from the sky. Imagine it was still at this moment. Some were amazed at the scene just now. It's nothing. If you have juice, you can go. Kong Zan turned around and spoke to the crowd. You heard it too. Let's go. If any of you want to move around freely, you can disperse, but get back to the boat before dinner. And you have to go out in a team of two or more people. Kong Zan said to them seriously. Okay, understood. Okay, dot. They all replied. Even though they are so young, each of them still has some strength. But I haven't met Garp before making such a big move. Then Garp should be with the bandit Darden. After all, considering the time, Ace was almost just born. It is estimated that Garp will be raised by Darden, and not for a while. Everyone also went to parties bar the bar run by Maginot. But because she is still young, some villagers are still helping her run it. She must be an intern store manager now. Speaking of which, I don't seem to have Bailey. But it doesn't matter, you can exchange it in the points mall. One point equals 100 million Baileys. So money is something like that. The least valuable to him. Chapter 23 Li Shi. There are still many people in the bar, with Garp here. No bandits dare to mess around. Otherwise, isn't it just seeking death? So the order in Windmill Village is pretty good at the moment. After drinking a glass of apple juice, Kong Zan received a message from someone in the chat group named Eight himself, so he opened the group chat. Can he can call on help? At Kong Zan Big Brother. There are ghouls. At the same time, tasks are also posted in the group chat system. Ding! Group member Khan Ki Ken was attacked by SS level ghouls, asking group members for help. Dash, task difficulty, low level, task reward, 5,000 points, person, number of people limit, 3 people. Which member accepts the task? Kong Zan. Don't worry. I'll be here right away. Red eyes, do you need my help? Kong Zan, you can come if you want. Don't worry, I'll protect you anyway. Butterfly Ninja. Then I'll come and take a look too. Are you sure there are three people? Red eyes, Butterfly Ninja, Kong Zan. 
but it would be too strange if he suddenly disappeared in the bar. I need to go to the toilet. Kong Zan waved his hands to Yamato and the others. Yamato and the others also responded. Then Kong Zan went out. I found a deserted place and sent the message. Kong Zan, okay, see this. Butterfly Ninja and Red Eyes were also sent together. Red Eyes, okay. Butterfly Ninja, okay. Dash, at this moment, Jin Muian ran forward with fearful eyes. The shoulder seemed to have been eaten by something at the moment. Blood kept pouring out, feeling the severe pain on his shoulder. Khan Ki Khan couldn't believe it. La, lie, lie, exclamation mark. How could she be a ghoul? Exclamation mark. Behind him was a purple-haired girl. She looked at Khan Ki Khan with a crazy smile, and then four slender tentacle-like red scales appeared behind her. The red scales directly tied up the fleeing Khan Ki Khan's feet and dragged him over. I caught you. Kamishiro Rise's extremely sick tone came. Then he used line to throw Khan Ki Ken out hard. Boom. Smoke and dust flew everywhere. Khan Ki Ken directly broke through the iron wall placed by the nearby construction team. It hit the area that was still under construction. He stood up immediately, covered in blood. He staggered forward. Mr. Khan Ki, Kamishiro Rise jumped directly over from that side, his eyes full of desire for food. Just when her scales were about to touch Khan Ki Ken. Hey, Lise. Is indeed a glutton. He has a huge appetite. She obviously looks beautiful. How cruel. Someone's voice came from behind. Li Shi felt that she was suddenly being pulled. Due to her instinctive reaction, her scales directly tied up the person behind her, who, just as she was about to turn around and look, her scales were instantly bounced away. Khan Ki Ken also looked back in surprise, and then lay down on a pillar. Brother Kong Zan. You're finally here. Jin Muian looked at Kong Zan, finally feeling relieved. You know, he is just an ordinary person. It's considered a serious injury now. Brother Kong Zan. Is she the target? Shitong said as he was about to pick up his Morasim. The butterfly ninja was also prepared, and the poison in her niche iron sword was ready. Come on, you two are really going to poison her to death if you take action. I still want to keep a creature like a ghoul as a pet. Kong Zan touched his chin and looked at Kamishiro Rise. But Kamishiro Rise looked at Kong Zan with fascination for some reason. This smell dot I have never smelled food like this. Li Shi couldn't help but swallowed. I must eat her today. Brother Kong Zan. The way she looks at you is so perverted. Butterflyren's eyes twitched and he looked at Kamishiro Rise. Ha ha, are you so attractive? Kong Zan smiled. Then he walked forward and stopped in front of Li Shi. Gulu. Li Shi looked at the food in front of him. This smell is so amazing. If you want to eat me, then go ahead. Kong Zan directly spread his hands, looked at Li Shi, and laughed. At this moment, Li Shi couldn't bear it anymore. Her cheeks turned rosy. I don't care about Khan Ki Ken anymore. He pounced directly on Kong Zan. Oh. So enthusiastic, Kong Zan hugged him, but Li Shi said in his ear, such a human being who is not afraid of death, such a delicious human being. This is the first time I have seen him. I really like you. But the next second, Li Shi but she bit it directly. Brother Kong Zan. This time, it was frightening to see Chitong and Butterfly Ninja directly, but they seemed to have forgotten something. Kan Ki Ken. Also looked at it in a daze. He was also worried. But I couldn't scream anymore. I could only watch like this. But at this moment, Li Shi was shocked. It's so hard. Dot, how is that possible? Then she immediately began to stab Kong Zan's body with her scales. Unfortunately it's still useless. He was hugged tightly by Kong Zan, but he couldn't bite him. Keep biting and biting. But it was completely useless. Tickle me again, little Li Shi. Kong Zan said with a smile and the provocative voice reached Li Shi's ears. You, let me go. Li Shi was a little uneasy. This person clearly had some human smell, but this smell was so delicious that he didn't even look like a human being. It was also the first time that Li Shi encountered this feeling. Don't move, Kong Zan said slightly seriously. How? She didn't finish her words. Li Shi seemed to feel something. He quickly looked up. The pupils shrank. Countless huge pieces of steel fell down from it. Just when the steel was about to hit the two of them, Kong Zan raised one hand. Moment. Boom. A loud noise. But the smoke cleared. It was as if there was an invisible protective shield surrounding Kong Zan. All the steel was moved to the side and Li Shi, who was held in Kong Zan's arms, showed no scars. She looked at the steel around her in disbelief. She saw it. Just now, steel actually turned its position in a strange way. It's not a normal falling method at all. You dot how did you do that? At this moment, Li Shi was even more curious about the man in front of him. Secret. Kong Zan grinned. Suddenly a chain appeared in his hand. Then he tied it directly around her neck, just like tying a dog. Li Shi immediately wanted to tear off the chains, but it didn't work at all. She looked at Kong Zan. You dot you can't be from Bei Ige. Li Shi frowned, but he had never heard of Bei having such a talent. As an SS level ghoul, I couldn't do any harm to him. Simply outrageous. No, but I'm here to save that kid. Kong Zan turned his head and pointed at Kan Ki Ken beside him. Jin Muian was covered in cold sweat at the moment and smiled slightly at Kong Zan. Really, Li Shi, 
You are very good at playing the beauty trap. My little brother was crippled by you, Kong Zan said and stretched out his hand to Jin Muan. A green magic circle appeared in the air. Kan Ki Ken's wound recovered visibly to the naked eye, and it also emitted a green light. This wave of shock shocked Li Shi in front of him. Even the red eyes and butterfly ninja who just ran over were stunned. What is this? Butterfly ninja said with a surprised look on his face. Watching Kan Ki Ken's wounds recover quickly. This recovery speed is comparable to that of a winding ghost. It's really outrageous to open the door. And Shitan also looked at it with a serious face. If there was this kind of power, maybe many teammates would not die. Chapter 24 Meow How is it possible? Something like this in a novel. How can it exist? Ryo looked at Kan Ki Ken's now recovered body. She had read some magic novels and thought they were entertainment, but she didn't expect such things to actually exist. Then she looked at the chain around her neck. So what is this? She wanted to open the chain. But there was no way, and Kong Zan also let her go at this moment. You can't eat people casually from now on. Kong Zan glanced at her. Yes, at this moment, Li Shi unexpectedly agreed. No, if you don't let me eat people, I will starve to death. Why did I agree to you just now? Li Shi was a little stunned. Why did I say yes just now? It shouldn't be. I just said you can't eat people casually. You can only listen to me. You can eat what I let you eat. You can't eat what I don't let you eat. Understood? Kong Zan provoked her chin. Ming dot understand. Li Shi seemed to dare not disobey in his heart. I have to agree to what the man in front of me says. I don't know why. These are also the reasons for the chains of slavery. So she must obey. The chains I put on you are slave chains. Once you put them on, you can only listen to me. I can still let you speak and have your own body. If you don't behave, I can also use you as a puppet. Control it at will. Kong Zan looked into her eyes calmly and whispered in her ear. Dot. Li Shi's eyes widened in shock, hearing his words in disbelief, but she knew that Kong Zan was right. She felt that she must not take action against the man in front of her. As long as she had such thoughts, she would lose the right to own her body. Damn it. Dot. It's obviously my body. Li Shi was a little angry murmuring and complaining. But after saying that, she couldn't feel her body anymore. After a while, I no longer have this thought, my body is back again. This wave made her break out in cold sweat. This feeling was like a ghost pressing down on the bed. She couldn't move at all and was very weak. It's so outrageous. Miss Rise, I really didn't expect you to be a ghoul. Kan Ki Ken was already standing not far from Rise. He never expected that the girl he liked would actually be a ghoul, and he would still eat his own ghoul. This is too uncomfortable. It's such a pity, Mr. Kan Ki that I didn't eat you. She knew that without Kong Zan's order, it would be impossible to eat you even if she wanted to. Otherwise it's very simple. Loss of body control. Thank you dot brother Kong Zan. Jin Muan looked a little disappointed. Nothing. Kong Zan shook his head. Kan Ki, are your injuries healed? Butterfly Ninja asked curiously. Well, thanks to brother Kong Zan, my original piece of flesh has actually grown back, as if I had never been injured. Kan Ki Ken touched his shoulder and even he was very unbelievable. It's too outrageous after all. It was so heavy just now that I was almost dying. There was a flash of green light and he was healed instantly. It's amazing. Shitong was also very surprised. He didn't expect that this kind of injury could be cured by just waving his hand. What is the difference between this and a miracle? Is he really not a god? Shitong thought silently. After all, she doesn't know magic or anything. Ding. The mission has been completed. Group members Kong Zan, Kai Tong, and Butterfly Ninja each received 5,000 points. Whether to return to the world, Brother Kong Zin, I'm going back first. I feel like I haven't done anything. How about I give you the points? Butterfly scratched her head in embarrassment. After all, she had been watching the show. Me too. Shit Ong expressed the same feeling. It's okay, you can keep the points and buy some things to strengthen yourself. Maybe you will be much more relaxed when you encounter danger in the future. Kong Zan shook his head and spoke to them sincerely. Well dot thank you, Brother Kong Zin. Butterfly Ninja thought for a moment and nodded. Thank you. Brother Kong Zin, Shit Ong also said with serious eyes. Okay, you guys go ahead, I have something else to do. Kong Zan chuckled. The two looked at each other and nodded. Jin Mu, let's go to the coffee shop you off and go to and chat. Kong Zan said to him. Okay, Brother Kong Zan. Speaking of her, Kan Ki Ken looked at Li Shi. Don't worry, this guy dot is my pet. Kong Zan said. Suddenly, a chain seemed to appear in Kong Zan's hand, and this chain was the chain connected to Li Shi's neck. These are the true chains of slavery, normally. You can only see the chain around her neck. Only when Kong Zan thinks about it, the invisible chain on Kong Zan's hand will appear. What? Jin Muan heard this. Then looking at the chain around Li Shi's neck, he was a little confused as to why Li Shi listened to Kong Zan's words so much at this moment, even though he was still trying to eat him a second ago. Could it be that he was shocked by Kong Zan? It's wired. Don't believe it? Come on, Li Shi. Imitate the cat meowing and listen to it. Kong Zan put his hand on Li Shi's head and chuckled. Meow meow. Li Shi cried out directly. This shame made her face turn rosy. Put out the meow claw. Kong Zan said, 
extending his palm upwards in front of her. Li Shi also cooperated and held his hand like a meow's paw and gently put it up. Okay, no need to bark. You're so good. You're just a meow, Kong Zan said with a smile. Li stopped meowing, but she looked at Kong Zan with very shameful and angry eyes. Okay dot so amazing. Miss Rise is obviously a ghoul, but she is so obedient. Kan Ki Ken was dumbfounded by this. Ghoul? I said ghouls eat people. But will there be a kind of creature that eats ghouls? Kong Zan grinned and approached Li Shi again, looking at her jade-like skin and her attractive collarbone. Kong Zan bit down without hesitation. You must know that he has the blood of Ghost King Womb. Although there are no side effects, humans and ghouls are not very attractive to him, but if he wants to eat it, he can taste it as ordinary food. Ah, Li Shi groaned, his eyes filled with disbelief. He never expected that the human in front of him would dare to eat his own flesh. Kong Zan directly tore off a small piece of flesh and blood, chewed it briefly and swallowed it. The meat is indeed good. It's worthy of being a big ghoul who has eaten so many humans. Kong Zan touched his chin, appraising and thinking. And Li Shi's recovery ability is still very fast and the piece of flesh and blood has recovered a lot in a short time. But this scene scared Khan Ki Ken badly. Kong dot brother Kong Zan, you won't eat people too, right? Jin Muian looked confused and was so scared that he took a few steps back. Huh? I'm not like these ghouls who can't eat normal human food. Why can I eat human beings if I can eat normal food? Kong Zan rolled his eyes at him. Who dot are you? The smell is stronger than that of humans, and you dare to eat me as a ghoul. It makes people feel dot you don't look like humans at all. Li Shi couldn't see through the man in front of him so asked directly, secret, Kong Zan chuckled slightly, and then continued, so, don't think that you are the only one who can eat me, however, his smell is stronger than that of ordinary humans, and Kong Zan is not sure, maybe it is the energy in my body right now is so pure, but to be honest, Li Shi has been suppressing the turmoil in his heart, because this smell is really attractive, it fascinates her, chapter 25 antique coffee shop, okay, Kanki. Let's go to that antique coffee shop, I really want to go to that shop. This place will probably be crowded soon, Kong Zan said. After all, the fall of these huge steel bars does have some impact. I guess someone will check the situation. Otherwise, Kan Ki Ken and the original work would have bled to death long ago. How could he be saved? Brother Kong Zan also knows that store. It's really amazing. Then let's go. Kan Ki Ken also calmed down and took the lead in leading the way. Kong Zan walked forward. While Li Shi followed closely behind Kong Zan, it's almost six o'clock. I don't know if the coffee shop is closed. Oh? It looks like it's still on. He saw that the coffee shop on the second floor hadn't turned off the lights yet. Kan Ki Ken pushed open the door of the coffee shop, and the bell hanging on the door made a ding 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 sound. Kong Zan and Li Shi also walked in. Just when Kong Zan walked in, some guys looked at him deeply, then looked at Li Shi, and then continued to do their own things. This place is really nice. Kong Zan sighed as he touched his chin. We found a larger table with three people per seat. At this time, a girl with dark blue purple hair covering her right eye walked over. She seemed to be a waiter. Kong Zan recognized the familiar bangs at a glance. Isn't this Kairishima Tuka? I want a cappuccino. What are you drinking? Kanki said skillfully when Kairishima Tuka came over. Kanki Ken said. Lee Se wanted to eat him just a second ago, but now he is drinking coffee at the same table. It's really outrageous. American coffee, two packets of sugar and one packet of milk. Kong Zan said directly. No way, the coffee is too bitter and I really can't eat it without two packets of sugar. Then I'll be like him, but without milk. Li Shi pointed at Kong Zan calmly at this moment. Honestly, the strong smell of Kong Zan's body has now filled the coffee shop. Fortunately, besides Ryo, the only ghouls in the store at the moment are Kairish Imatuka and the store manager Yoshimura cousin. For example, Kairish Imatuka. She actually wanted to live in a human way, so she was so patient. Although she was very greedy, she could endure it because she had good self-control. Okay, Kairishimatuka wrote these down. Then I walked to the bar to get ready. This store is really nice. Li Shi, what do you think? Kong Zan asked Li Shi next to him. I think so too. After all, I'm a regular visitor. Li Shi seemed to be holding something back. Her cheeks were a little rosy. She squeezed her legs tightly, and placed her hands on her thighs, trembling slightly. At this moment, she was enduring the strong aura of Kong Zan. Dot. Kong Zan was speechless when he saw her look. You really want to eat me? I really can't help it. I'll let you hold me for a while, he said. Kong Zan inserted his index finger directly into her mouth. Li Shi's body felt a little more comfortable. This scene stunned Kairishimatuka and the store manager Yoshimura cousin who were making coffee on the side. How come there are still humans who give themselves to ghouls to eat? But, when they thought blood would be splattered on the spot in the next second, unexpectedly, she found that Li Shi, as a big ghoul, didn't bite off the finger. This was really not like her style. After all, it's all on his lips. Even an ordinary ghoul can't help it. Not to mention the Kamishiro rise known as the glutton. But Lishi just squinted her eyes, held her index finger in her mouth, and kept sucking and licking it, as if she was enjoying it very much. All right. In fact, 
it's just too hard, can't bite at all. Brother Kongzan is so awesome, although it's a bit unpleasant to see the person you like being intimate with other boys, the person you like is a ghoul. The kind who almost eats you. Such emotions are indeed very confusing and complicated, and watching this scene gave Kanki Ken a strange feeling. Very messy, very strange. Forget it, never mind, after all, he is going to kill his own guy, so what feelings can he have? But Brother Kongzan is really powerful. Even ghouls can be tamed like pet cats. Kanki Ken thought silently. Ahem, your coffee is ready. Kaira Shimatuka saw Rai sucking her fingers like a fool, and for some reason, she blushed a little when she saw this scene. After all, she is still an innocent girl. Ah, uh, Li Shi Dot, are you ready? Kongzan urged. Li Shikai sighed reluctantly. Thank you for the hospitality. Li Shi smiled at Kongzan. Although you can't taste the flesh and blood inside, it feels good outside. Then Li Shi wiped Kongzan's index finger that was full of saliva. This scene made Kaira Shimatuka even more incredible. Three words. That's outrageous. Kaira Shimatuka felt like she was about to turn to stone. I don't know what tricks Li Shi is playing. It's okay if he doesn't eat. But you still wipe his fingers? Question mark. Is it so expensive to have fun these days? Am I falling behind? Kaira Shimatuka silently questioned whether she was falling behind among the ghouls. Just leave the coffee here. Looking at Dong Xiang's dull look, Kong Zan reminded him. Ah, dot okay. Dong Xiang reacted quickly. She was a little embarrassed, causing her cheeks to turn red. He quickly put down the coffee. He quickly walked back to the bar. But I still look at this location from time to time. Kong Zan picked up the coffee cup and took a sip. Not bad, Kong Zan said. Well. At least it won't be so bitter that you can't drink it. It's really good. Li Shi also nodded. At this time, she felt like Kong Zan couldn't eat it anyway. He was so powerful, and she couldn't think of things that were not good for him, otherwise she would lose control of her body. In this case, it is better to face him. Maybe you can taste him sometime in the future. After all, this tastes really great. Must taste it. Li Shi was thinking so at the moment. Brother Kong Zan, by the way, will this kind of thing happen again in the future? Jin Muian said that he would not be killed by another ghoul next time. Who knows? Kong Zan tilted his head. He accepted Rishi's words and the world has changed. He doesn't know what will happen next. But if nothing unexpected happens, Kanki Ken should be fine as long as he doesn't get involved in the ghoul incident. Anyway, if you're scared, just call me. As friends, we should help each other. Kong Zan waved his hand indifferently. But Li Shi on the side felt extremely curious. How on earth did Kanki Ken, an ordinary person, make friends with such a powerful guy. I don't understand. Brother Kong Zan, thank you very much. Jin Muian felt relieved. With Kong Zan's level of treatment, he could be saved without dying. By the way, you can change some skills in the point small to defend yourself. Kong Zan reminded. Skills? Can 300 points be exchanged for anything useful? Can he can open the points store? Many of them were difficult for him to understand. Dot. You can change to a gene enhancing potion first. Enhance physical fitness. Kong Zan was silent for a while and then said, 